even find you a bunch of discounts. So if you love your toys, make sure you protect your toys by making one call to an Allstate agent. Protect all your toys with Allstate and the McDonald Agency. Established in 1985, we have offices in Ocala and the villages to better serve you. Give us a call at 622-2333. Subject to terms, conditions, and availability. Are you in good hands? Do you remember when summer was a celebration? You know, no schools, no worries, just days packed with your favorite pastime. It was the splendid season you dreamed of all year long. But as you got older and busier, the summer seemed to lose its sparkle. Where did those carefree days go? Well, they're closer than you think. Summer's still sensational at Golden Ocala Golf and Equestrian Club, where you can come out and play the grown-up way with our affordable summer memberships. Enjoy our championship golf course celebrating the game's greatest holes, hard true tennis courts, and a state-of-the-art fitness center. Explore our stately 77,000-square-foot clubhouse and unwind at our relaxing spa. Don't forget the pool! It's a summer unlike any other, and it's yours with a Golden Ocala summer membership. You can call Golden Ocala at 629-6229 to inquire about a summer membership, or you can visit goldenocala.com to learn more. That's goldenocala.com. Recently on Southern Pigskin Tonight, Coach Steve Spurrier talked about quarterbacks going into spring practice. We don't know who it's going to be yet, buddy. we got three that will fight it out this spring. I doubt that I will name one at the end of the spring because we got an incoming freshman, Lorenzo Nunez. It's a tremendous athlete, good runner, and good passer. So join us every Thursday at 5 p.m. for Southern Pigskin Tonight right here on 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, WOCA, The Source. Get it for less at the DIY Home Center Outlet. Get top quality real wood cabinets the same or less than the big box stores are selling the cheap stuff. And that's not all. Drywall Screws big box stores are $6.47 a pound at DIY only $4.99. Plus DIY has the largest selection of mobile home parts and accessories anywhere. From carpet to doors, get the DIY supplies you need for less. The DIY Home Center Outlet. We are your building material closeout store. 2191 Northwest 10th Street, just two miles east of I-75. Are you tired of not using your home's outdoor space for entertaining or relaxation because of all the bugs and leaves? Consider adding a beautiful screen room or glass enclosure. We are Superior Aluminum and Design, a family-owned and operated business with 20 years' experience in the aluminum industry. And we are accredited by the Better Business Bureau. If you appreciate superior workmanship, call Superior Aluminum and Design at 817-8058 or visit us on the web at superioraluminumdesign.com. Hospice of Marion County has an urgent need for volunteers to share a conversation with someone, run errands, hold someone's hand. All you need is a willingness to help others. Our volunteers believe the blessings they receive far exceed the services they offer. Will you consider serving, caring, and making a difference? Call today, 873-7441. Hospice of Marion County, making more moments of life possible. Hi, this is JP from Penn Flooring here in Ocala. I would like to invite you to come in and visit our spacious showroom where we have solutions for every style and budget. From wall-to-wall carpet to hardwood floors and tiles, we have an unsurpassed selection of flooring. At Penn Flooring, we've provided quality customer service with a family touch for over 25 years. Visit our website at penflooring.com or come by our showroom, 1201 Southwest 17th Street, just over the bridge. Penn Flooring, quality customer service with a family touch. One of the most common questions those nearing retirement are asking, will I outlive my money? Retirement questions like these and many more will be answered every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. on planning for a better and safer retirement with hosts Francois and Julian Pozenet. Francois and Julian will help you put your retirement puzzle together. Catch planning for a better and safer retirement Saturdays at 9 a.m. on Ocala's News Talk, The Source 96.3 FM and 1370 a.m. Broadcasting from the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, The Source. 
Fox News Radio, I'm Pat O'Neill. Former House Speaker Dennis Hastert pleading not guilty to charges. He evaded bank laws and lied to the FBI about it. It's what Hastert is not charged with that's piqued so much interest. Allegations that the former Speaker agreed to pay someone millions of dollars to keep quiet. But a past misconduct stemming from Hastert's time as a high school teacher and wrestling coach. Fox Radio's Jeff Manasso in Chicago. The search goes on for two convicted killers who escaped from an upstate New York prison over the weekend. Authorities following up a lead are searching a wooded area in the small town of Willsboro, about 40 miles south of the prison. The men made their escape using power tools to cut through a steel wall. Fox's David Lee Miller. A federal appeals court has upheld key parts of Texas's anti-abortion law, including a requirement that clinics have the same operating standards as hospitals. That could leave just a handful of clinics in Texas meeting those standards. Fox News, we report, you decide. And now another golf confessional brought to you by Golfsmith. Recently, a man decided to spare his family the expense of Father's Day. No lunches, cards, or gifts. Then he heard about amazing savings on the latest products at Golfsmith and immediately changed his mind. Besides, he could always be thrifty on another holiday, like Valentine's Day. Hurry in for savings on prior generation Titleist Pro V1s and FootJoy DNA golf shoes this Father's Day, only at Golfsmith. Anything for golf. At Choice Hotels, we know business trips start with a choice. Stay or go. You can press send or press palms. Start a chat room or chat in an actual room. Just remember, opportunities won't come to you. you got to get out there to get things done. Should I stay or should I go? ChoiceHotels.com makes it fast and easy to find a range of Choice Hotels like Comfort Inn and Suites. So stay with us for business and book now at ChoiceHotels.com. You always have a choice. Ouch. Does pain have you glued to the couch? Yes, unfortunately it's true that every year we must get older, but that doesn't mean we have to deal with pain in our back, knees, or shoulder. If your muscles and joints are sore, don't worry anymore. Come get acupuncture from me and you'll be pain free. Acupuncture starts as low as $35 at a Better You Healthcare. Call me, Dr. Erica Olstein, at 615-5566. Stop your pain from driving you insane. One of the most common questions those nearing retirement are asking, will I outlive my money? Retirement questions like these and many more will be answered every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. on planning for a better and safer retirement with hosts Francois and Julian Cozanet. Francois and Julian will help you put your retirement puzzle together. Catch planning for a better and safer retirement Saturdays at 9 a.m. on Ocala's News Talk, The Source 96.3 FM and 1370 a.m. Hi, Danny Warfel here. Get moving with Florida Credit Union's fast and easy loan approval process. Let Florida Credit Union start up a new car loan for you today. No more waiting, hassles, or stop signs. You can even apply online. With a strong financial team behind you, you can enjoy great rates and fast approvals. It's all about personalized service and a streamlined process. Florida Credit Union, connecting your money to your life. Career Source Citrus Levy Marion brings together business and community partners, economic development leaders, and educational providers to connect employers with qualified, skilled talent, and job seekers with employment and career development opportunities. Tune in the first and third Wednesday of each month at 9:30 a.m. to Career Source Citrus Levy Marion and learn how they can help you. That was the sound of a tree falling. It could be your tree. You're going to have it trimmed, but never got around to calling Pride Tree Service. It could have fallen in a field, and now all you have to do is call Pride Tree Service, and they'll have it quickly out of the way for a great price. But don't wait until the tree falls. It may not fall in the field. It may hit your car, your house, or worse. So call Pride Tree Service today and avoid all those headaches before they happen. Pride Tree Service, 840-0750. That's 840-0750. If you've been hearing about the crowded Eaton's Beach Sandbar and Grill and were worried because you couldn't get in, I've got some good news for you. Seating is now available. While you're there, look up Chef Dave Del Rio. He'll buy you a drink. Now is the time for you to finally see firsthand what your friends are talking about. At Eaton's Beach Sandbar and Grill, try Chef Dave's tantalizing Louisiana menu. Check out those gorgeous Lakeware sunsets. Eaton's Beach Sandbar and Grill on beautiful Lakeware. 
Seating now available. So you need a credit card, but how do you choose? Let's compare the big banks to Florida Credit Union. They have rewards, and we do too. They have customer service. Hello, 24-7. They have celebrities. Hey, Danny. But with Florida Credit Union, there's no annual fee, no liability for fraudulent charges, and no 22% interest rates. Choose Florida Credit Union, and you'll not only have a great credit card, but you'll have the support and personal touch that the big banks, well, can't touch. Florida Credit Union, connecting your money to your life. Federally insured by the NCUA. Hey, Matt, I know Sunrise Automotive does auto stuff, but I need some tires for my truck. Can you recommend someone? Uh, yes, I can. We do that. No, I mean, I need them installed and balanced and all that. Yep, yep, we do that. Well, my son needed his windows tinted. Yep, we, we do that. I need too. my seat replaced. Yep, yep, we do that, too. I need a new roof line, a new spoiler, and a new Yep, and we can even do that, too. Okay, okay, I get it. I suppose you can also do a radio show, too, huh? Well, as a matter of fact, join me every Monday at 10 for auto repair with personal care here on The Source. Of course you do. Boomer Warrior, teaching you to save more, spend less, and avoid getting ripped off. He's Clark Howard. I'm glad you're with us on the Clark Howard Show, where it's all about you keeping more of what you make. Coming up in just 20 minutes in today's Clark Rageous Moment, be very, very wary anytime a salesperson says they can guarantee you making money. There's something that's hot right now that can cool your wallet. And coming up a half hour from now, speaking of your wallet, you may be able to fatten it. There is great news in the job market. I'm going to tell you how to use that great news to your advantage in just 30 minutes. Our number, 877-87-CLARK on the web, clarkhoward.com, and follow me at facebook.com slash clarkhoward. So I need to tell you there's some crazy news involving one part of the American landscape that is pretty ugly right now, and that's student loan debt. Student loan debt now not only exceeds credit card debt in the country, it now also has zoomed past auto loan debt. That the only thing out of reach of student loan debt in the United States is mortgage debt or the debt of the federal government. That's how ugly the picture is right now on student loan debt. And a lot of people are in default on it. Most student loan debt is federal. And there's been a lot of controversy surrounding the various forgiveness programs for student loans. Now there's a new one on the horizon we, the taxpayers, are going to absorb approximately $3.5 billion in student loan debt from people who went to various campuses owned by the now disgraced Corinthian Colleges, which operated under various campus names around the country, that the students are in most cases going to have their student loans forgiven if they petition because the school is considered to have operated on false premises, false pretense, claiming that you were going to get this great education that was going to qualify you for great jobs and their placement rate was great. And apparently it was three strikes on those things. People signed up for big student loans, did not get jobs from the courses and now we're on the hook for massive amounts of student loan debt. There is a federal law that allows borrowers to have loans discharged if they can prove that a school broke the law, such as with deceptive advertising, false claims that induced people to borrow money. So there's a lot of speculation whether it's going to be a $5 billion charge off to the taxpayers, $3, 4000000000 billion. 
but just most conservative guess is about three and a half billion. And the Corinthian campuses are just one example of for profit campuses that were using recruitment methods that are suspect, enrolling students that would not be able to successfully matriculate, and in any case, get degrees that would not really be worth the paper they were printed on, and all as student loan mills, just attracting people with false advertising to get people to sign up for federally guaranteed student loans that they in short order would default on and then we the taxpayers get stuck with the debt. It is an ugly cycle that we must break as a country. It is something that has real hazard here because who should get stuck with the hot potato? The the would-be student who got conned, or the taxpayer who's on the hook for all these loans. It is a mess without easy solution, but at least as far as the Corinthian college students are concerned, there will be a process where you appeal, and you may well have your student loans set aside. And again, as I said, other schools may come along. In fact, the Wall Street Journal is so upset about this that they say that the interpretation of the rules could even lead to people going to traditional colleges that can claim they didn't get a worthwhile education and therefore you shouldn't have to pay your student loans. I think that the Wall Street Journal is taking that a bridge too far. At least I think so. Patty's with us on the Clark Howard Show. Hi, Patty. How are you? Hi, Clark. Thank you for taking my call. Great to have you here, Patty. Thank you. So you're trying to help your son. Yes. What's the story with your son? Okay. Well, when he was younger, he got himself in all kinds of credit card debt, so he really wrecked his credit. Well, he's older now and more responsible, but he could not get a loan to buy a house, so we purchased a home for him, but we paid cash for it, and he is just paying us back each month with interest, and he's done this now consistently for over two years. So my question is, it's what can we do so it reflects on his credit score to improve because what he's doing right now, it's not doing anything to improve his credit score. There is no method I know of yet that would allow the loan to be reported as a current loan. There is an organization, a startup, that's trying to set up where they will do everything for you doing a private loan and they collect the payments and if your son wouldn't pay they'd be the one who'd who'd call him up on the sixth of the month and say sorry to bother you but where's your monthly mortgage payment whereas a parent you're not as likely to do that Mm -hmm. and then ultimately it could lead to reporting payment status to the credit bureaus but that's something that that's not fully formed yet in the meantime the best way first of all I, I forgot to ask you something the debts that went bad are they older than seven years at this point I believe so he's been working hard to clean up his credit report and it, he it has uh, improved and he did recently get a credit card and he is charging a little bit each month and then you know leaving a little bit of a balance and then he you know, no need to leave a balance Okay, there's no need to. No, that doesn't help your credit standing at all. In fact, that lowers your credit score a little bit, leaving a balance. Okay. So paying that in full each month is really good. He doesn't want to charge much against the limit. Is it a traditional card or is it a secured card? Uh, I don't understand what you mean. A secured card is one where he would have had to post money in a savings account in order to have the card? It's actually a national um, store, a chain. Okay, so they were willing to extend him credit. Yes. All right, then the next step would be to see if he could get a small limit Visa or MasterCard on his own. Okay. The fact that the mortgage is not being reported is not going to turn out to be significant or important once he's able to get a traditional major credit card, a Visa, MasterCard, Discover, American Express. Okay. And he will organically improve his credit just by having done that. 
Okay. Is he a member of a credit union yet? Uh, yes, he is. So he should go to the credit union and show that he's been able to get the store card and see if the credit union will extend him a small limit Visa or MasterCard, okay. and then he'll be well on his way. Okay. Okay. And I, di I didn't know if maybe like a land contract, if we should do no something need. like that. No okay. need. No so, need. Okay. So you're selling him the property. Is he the owner with you having a, a properly recorded mortgage against the property? Well, we paid cash for the house. Right. But so, you own the property, not we him. Own it. Yes, we own it. And All right, so that would be something that you want to do at, at some point in the future. Once he gets the Visa or MasterCard, get six months of payment history with it, mm -hmm. at that point, he may be able to qualify for a mortgage on his own. Mm -hmm. So you would want to sell him the property formally and properly. Okay. And then he would take out a mortgage like a traditional borrower, then he'd be fully on his way. Okay. But okay. just getting the major credit card by itself will help him fully and completely establish credit. But I don't want that property left as your ownership. He's paying you for it, but you own it. That's a little upside down and backwards. But I know the whole goal is to help him uh, own a home and he will soon be at the point where he can do it completely by the books and have his own loan. Lucinda is with us on the Clark Howard Show. Hi, Lucinda. Hi, Clark. How are you today? Great. Thank you, Lucinda. I am so sorry to hear what you're calling me about. <laughs> Why are you sorry? We are. I've heard you mention a number of times that timeshares can be very difficult to get rid of. In fact, even your kids don't want them and we're ready to get out rid of ours but i'm wondering about donating it for a cause so that used to work and it worked for a number of years up till about 2007 and the timeshare business has so fallen apart the last eight years that it's even hard now to get any charity to take a timeshare in fact any effort online you have to pay a charitable organization to take the timeshare from you, often in the range of about $2,000 to $2,500. Oh, my goodness. Because well, the problem, it used to be said that there were 100 sellers for every one timeshare buyer. Today, it may be 100000 for every one buyer. It's a, it's a broken business. So have you paid for the timeshare in full? Oh, yes, it has been for 10 years. All right. You may be able to find someone who owns a week at the same property you're at and loves it and would like to have another week. And you can offer to give it to them for basically nothing or little. There's a website where you can post it called vacatia.com. Okay. V-A-C-A-T-I-A.com. Okay. The other thing is that there may be like a, a group of owners online for the timeshare development that you have. I don't know if you've if you okay. looked around for that. No, I'm, we're just starting, and I I went to your website because I've heard you mention this before, and I noticed an ad on there for. And so I didn't know whether you endorsed No, no, no. Ads, ad, that's a great question. I'm glad you asked. All right. So on my website, as any other, the way ads are fed, they're fed almost like at random. And we have virtually no control when those randomized ads show up. So, you know, you were looking on our site for timeshares. So automatically, people that are trying to peddle schemes about timeshares are going to pop up as the ads that you see in that box that appears before our results pop up. Okay, because that's what do the donating uh, time the do Donating calls. thing, yeah. Be very on wary. Just because something's there as an ad, it has no relationship. Go ahead, Krista. Yeah, we try to, We have the ability to ban advertisers that we see pop up, so we'll definitely get on that um, right away and ban that one. So, okay, because I wasn't sure whether that was an endorsement. It is definitely. I don't do endorsements anyway, but with the ads that appear on the web, 
that is the still the wild west of advertising. Okay. So well, anyway, that's... hunt around online. You can try a, a website called the Timeshare Users Group if you Google for that. And there may be a group of owners that talk to each other for your specific timeshare development. And there may be somebody on that users group who would love to have your week. Okay. Your best buyer is somebody who already owns timesharing and loves it and looks forward to it. You're listening to The Clark Howard Show. It'll be home to 942 bursts of laughter, a 16-pound blackened turkey dinner, and the loudest burp on record. It'll be the site of the most legendary blanket fort ever built, not to mention the stage of the Great Pillow War of 2016. It'll also be the final resting place of two hamsters and one of the sweetest turtles who will ever live. It will see its fair share of broken windows, broken bones, and broken hearts. But first, you have to find it. Start your home search at Zillow.com or on our family of apps. You can view millions of photos, browse historical pricing data, and even sign up for alerts when new homes hit the market. Because you're not just looking for a house. You're looking for a place for your life to happen. Zillow. Find your way home. Like the taste of fresh apples? Try an Angry Orchard hard cider. At Angry Orchard, we believe in tradition. That's why we use apples from a 100-year-old orchard. It takes two apples to make each bottle of Angry Orchard. So raise a glass to a time when apples were best served in a pint glass. Angry Orchard, when you're looking for something a little different. Crisp, refreshing, and not too sweet, just like me. Angry Orchard Hard Cider. Branch out. Angry Orchard Cider Company, Cincinnati, Ohio. Drink responsibly. We could use a bunch of fancy scientific studies to explain how seafoam cleans your engine and improves performance. But recent scientific studies show that scientific studies are boring. So here's something that's not. Seafoam motor treatment, now at Napa for only $7.99. At just $7.99 for seafoam, you don't need science to tell you that's awesome. Conquer the job with Napa know-how. And participating Napa Auto Parts stores, 16-ounce can. Offer expires 6 15 Are you tired of not using your home's outdoor space for entertaining or relaxation because of all the bugs and leaves? Consider adding a beautiful screen room or glass enclosure. We are Superior Aluminum and Design, a family-owned and operated business with 20 years' experience in the aluminum industry. And we are accredited by the Better Business Bureau. If you appreciate superior workmanship, call Superior Aluminum and Design at 817-8058 or visit us on the web at superioraluminumdesign.com. If you're anything like I was, the thought of getting older was the last thing on your mind. But here we are. For me, it started slowly. The lack of energy. Never being in the mood. And when I was, I could never perform at my best. I tried the pills and other treatments with minimal results and all but given up on my sex life. Then I found the doctors at New Mail Medical Center. Wow, they made a new male out of me. Feel like I'm 25 again. I have renewed vigor, so much more energy, and no longer worry about my performance. New Mail treated me like my situation was one of a kind. With a custom treatment plan that really works, I feel great. They can create Create one for you too. It does not matter if you suffer from low testosterone, erectile dysfunction, or just want to last longer. New Mail will help you. Call New Mail Medical Center today at 352-404-4779. 352-404-4779. That's 352-404-4779. It will change your life. 352-404-4779. Good credits, bad credits. It's none of our business because we're not an auto dealer. We're not a bank. We're not your mother. We're OcalaForSale.com, Marion County's marketplace for cars, trucks, and SUVs. We've got thousands of sellers standing by to take your call. No middleman. But hurry, don't walk, don't run. Just sit down and log on to OcalaForSale.com. License and inventory change daily. Offer does not include dealer up charge. Undercutting rust proofing factory surcharge or delivery fee. See website for details. Do you have areas that have started sagging or drooping? Is what you're looking at not quite the same as it was years ago? 
Are there enhancements you've been putting off? Is there serious damage you need fixed? Then call on us, Damage Control Services. When your roof is sagging and the drywall is drooping after a storm, or your home just needs some enhancements, from damage repairs to new construction, Damage Control Services is here to help. What are the most common questions those nearing retirement are asking? Will I outlive my money? Retirement questions like these and many more will be answered every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. on planning for a better and safer retirement with hosts Francois and Julian Pozenet. Francois and Julian will help you put your retirement puzzle together. Catch planning for a better and safer retirement Saturdays at 9 a.m. on Ocala's News Talk, The Source 96.3 FM and 1370 a.m. Our number on the Clark Howard Show, 877-87-CLARK. You know, I do a special segment most days called the Clark Rageous Moment. And this is something that I want you to listen to very closely. Scams, rip-offs, outrages. It's a Clark Rageous Moment. There's an absolutely atrocious piece of junk that people call me about virtually every week on the Clark Howard Show. It's where insurance agents tell you that you can invest in the stock market guaranteed that you will never lose money. And they present all these beautiful color charts telling you how something called a fixed index annuity or an index annuity is going to set you for life without risk. Let me tell you something. They are garbage. They are refuse. They smell. They stink. And they tie you to them for usually 10 to 15 years. You are hooked to it and you can't exit. But some of the worst stuff with this junk is that the insurance company in the contract that ties you up for up to 15 years reserves the right for itself to change what the deal is in the middle of the game. Even worse, they tell you that you're going to get to benefit from the upside of the stock market, and that's a big, fat lie. They give you a cap on what you can earn, even though the stock market goes up and down like a yo-yo. In the good years, you get very little of the benefit. And then that other thing about how you can't lose any money, that comes with more gotchas and more loopholes than you could possibly wrap your arms around. Even worse, the contracts for these index annuities and fixed index annuities are often more than 100 pages of legalese gibberish. The only winners in these things are the insurance agents that sell the trash. They get free trips, they get bonus this, that, and the others, free cars, because for the insurance companies, these are so massively profitable that they do anything they can to incentivize the agents to mess up your future by selling you this refuse. Have I made it clear enough? Now, if you are an insurance agent who wants to have me burn in a very hot place, go to ClarkHoward.com, go to Clark Stinks, and you share with people why you feel I'm wrong. Yuvia needed financing to grow her restaurant business, but her bank simply didn't understand. I was frustrated. Yuvia found On Deck Business Loans. On Deck did it for me. I called on Saturday, and I had $50,000 in my account on Monday morning. How about the terms? Incredibly easy. It doesn't mess with your cash flow. On Deck changed everything. This company, On Deck, is going to be there for me. Was it a good move? I'm looking to increase sales probably 30%. Been in business for at least a year with $100,000 plus in revenue, On Deck can get you $5,000 to $250,000 in as little as one business day. And they're A-plus rated with the Better Business Bureau. On Deck has opened up so many doors for me now. Truly, truly, the sky is the limit. I, I'm excited. Apply now at ondecklending.com or call 800-516-8921. 800-516-8921. 800-516-8921. 800-516-8921. 800-516-8921. 800-516-8921. 800-516-8921. 800-516-8921. 800-516-8921. 800-516-8921. 800-516-8921. 800-516-8921. 800-516-
Your source for the number one sports weekend, Fox Sports, only on 96.3 FM, 1370 AM. W-O-C-A. Fox News Radio, I'm Pat O'Neill. Former House Speaker Dennis Hastert pleading not guilty to charges. He evaded bank laws and lied to the FBI about it. It's what Hastert is not charged with that's piqued so much interest. Allegations that the former speaker agreed to pay someone millions of dollars to keep quiet. But a past misconduct stemming from Hastert's time as a high school teacher and wrestling coach. Fox Radio's Jeff Manasso in Chicago. The search goes on for two convicted killers who escaped from an upstate New York prison over the weekend. Authorities following up a lead are searching a wooded area in the small town of Willsboro, about 40 miles south of the prison. The men made their escape using power tools to cut through a steel wall. Fox's David Lee Miller. A federal appeals court has upheld key parts of Texas's anti-abortion law, including a requirement that clinics have the same operating standards as hospitals. That could leave just a handful of clinics in Texas meeting those standards. Fox News, we report, you decide. And now another golf confessional brought to you by Golfsmith. Recently, a man decided to spare his family the expense of Father's Day. No lunches, cards, or gifts. Then he heard about amazing savings on the latest products at Golfsmith and immediately changed his mind. Besides, he could always be thrifty on another holiday, like Valentine's Day. Hurry in for savings on prior generation Titleist Pro V1s and FootJoy DNA golf shoes this Father's Day, only at Golfsmith. Anything for golf. At Choice Hotels, we know business trips start with a choice. Stay or go. You can press send or press palms. Start a chat room or chat in an actual room. Just remember, opportunities won't come to you. you got to get out there to get things done. Should I stay or should I go? ChoiceHotels.com makes it fast and easy to find a range of Choice Hotels like Comfort Inn and Suites. So stay with us for business and book now at ChoiceHotels.com. You always have a choice. A crew chief swap at Michael Walter Racing. I'm Kyle Ricky. That story next on NASCAR Today. Motor Racing Network has always been your source for motorsports coverage when you couldn't be at the track. Now, MRN is even more accessible with the brand new MRN app, available on your iPhone or Android device right now. This free app delivers all the latest motorsports news and schedules, locates nearby MRN stations, streams your favorite programs, and lets you interact with the MRN team on social media. Search MRN in the App Store or on Google Play. It's the Motor Racing Network at your fingertips and it's available right now. Howdy, folks. Colonel Sanders here coming to you poolside with another summertime eating idea. Ready for a dip? Dive in to one of my summer meals. Eight pieces of chicken, new Kentucky baked beans, coleslaw, and four biscuits will have your family executing a perfect front tuck into the deep end of dinner before pulling off a synchronized back two-and-a-half twist into a half-gallon of Dole Classic lemonade. Get out of that pool and into a Kentucky Fried Chicken restaurant. Kentucky Fried Chicken. It's finger-licking good. Pricing and participation may vary. Michael Waltrip Racing announced today a crew chief swap beginning this week in Michigan. Brian Patty will now crew chief for David Reagan, while Billy Scott will become the crew chief for Clint Boyer. Neither team has a win this season and are both deep in the championship standings. And the National Motorsports Appeals Panel heard and considered the appeal from Jimmy Johnson's team after the 48 team received two warnings during consecutive weeks last month, resulting in a P1 penalty. A penalty that would have meant the team being the last to select their pit stall this weekend. Johnson's team, however, won the appeal today as the panel concluded that there was conflicting evidence about the inspection violation. This is a public notice. Local residents can now save thousands of dollars on their next car, truck, or SUV. It's not a tent sale. Because no tent is big enough to hold this many cars. It's OcalaForSale.com. Say goodbye to sticker shock. OcalaForSale.com has thousands of vehicles with no stickers at all. But hurry, don't walk, don't run. Just sit down and log on to OcalaForSale.com. Prices and inventory change daily. Offer does not include dealer upcharge. Undercoding less proofing factory surcharge or delivery fee. See website for details. 
On the next AML Color Live, Robin and I will be speaking to Randy Susan Meyer. She's written a book called Accidents of Marriage. News Bites, the hottest news and current events are bite size. And then David Glasgow is coming out to speak to us about the results of a new national survey that shows in person reunions are still relevant. Jim DeBerry, the general manager of Wild Waters Water Park, will be in the studio with a gator handler and a baby alligator. And Mark Robinson, a comedian, they'll be speaking about Wild Waters. And then psychiatrist Dr. Susan L. Edelman will be on the air with us. She's written a book that's called Be Your Own Brand of Sexy. It's a new sexual revolution for women. Ooh, yay. <laughs> Have all of your legal questions answered by attorney John Fuller on Legally Yours. And then Dwight K. will be on with us. Congress is thinking about getting rid of Section 1031 of the IRS Code. And then keep up with the latest travel tips with travel expert Anthony James. All of that plus fun with Joe on the next AM Ocala Live. This is WOCA, News Talk 1370. We are the source, WOCA. Isn't it great to have an opportunity to share good news with you? Welcome to the Clark Howard Show, where it's all about you learning ways to save more and spend less. And don't let anybody ever rip you off. Our number, 877-87-CLARK on the web, clarkhoward.com, and follow me at facebook.com slash clarkhoward. So this is good, good, good stuff. New data in shows that job openings have risen to the highest level since records were kept late last millennium. This is an amazing picture. Roughly five and a half million job openings in a single month. Most recent reporting period, this data that just came in is for the month of April. And employers now are busy looking for workers. For workers who've been through the shock of layoffs, job losses, companies closing, there's a lot of, uh, for lack of a better term, PTSD for people who had their careers crushed. And for people who've gotten out of school in the last six years, whatever level of education you completed, there's got to be a lot of skepticism because what we experienced in the recent past, particularly if it was especially traumatic, we transfer that forward and what was we assume is and will be. No. The job market has turned. The unemployment rate is much lower than it has been. We are moving into a time period that you are going to be able in so many job categories to squeeze more pay out of the boss. If you own the business, you hate me right now. A lot of the big bureaucratic brainless companies have gone to pay caps that when it's time for a review, you could be the greatest performer ever. Well, our maximum range is a 1.82% raise or whatever mindless garbage bureauc bureaucrats come up with. That kind of culture of the last eight years, that is done. And employers that don't realize that are going to experience higher than normal turnover in most industries and are going to face the costs of training new workers. It's a fact. Now, not every single job category, not every single employer is going to be in a position where they're going to be afraid of you going somewhere else. But it is a new present issue, and you have far more control as an employee. Already there are reports that people are getting better raises. So for you, if you are an employee, maybe you really like where you work, but your paycheck just hasn't been as beefed up as you'd like. And you want to get that check a little larger. 
The truth is the real power in the marketplace for you as an employee comes from going and testing the waters and going out and seeing what other opportunity may be there for you in the job market. And maybe you find out that others see your skill level and experience as being worth more. But you still love where you are. At that point, once you've tested and you know the value you have in the marketplace, then you go to your boss and you say, I love working for you. I love working here. I have a problem. I've been offered this much more money at place XYZ. You don't even have to say what place. Maybe you shouldn't. But I've been offered this much more money. But I really want to stay here. Can you help me out on this? Unless you go find what your market value is, it's kind of an empty exercise trying to get more money out of where you work. But the opportunity now is greater and greater. A lot of people have stayed in a job they don't like because they've been worried that things may be ugly out there because of all the things that have happened the last eight years. But now there's more security out in the job market. You may not feel it, but there is. And it's up to you to take advantage of the opportunities that are there. Another very positive stat from private industry shows that the growth in sales of small business owners are up meaningfully, significantly, with the best numbers reporting since last decade. And that is another positive economic indicator, which has two effects on you. If you are a borrower, with near certainty, higher interest rates are on the way. If you are a saver, with, I can't call it near certainty, with likelihood, the interest rates you can earn on savings will be headed higher. The first effect is more likely than the second effect, but interest rates in a number of categories are likely to move in the areas the Federal Reserve controls, which is the interest rates that ultimately affect what you pay on a car loan, possibly on a credit card, any kind of short-term borrowing. Ironically enough, if the Federal Reserve moves pretty aggressively in raising interest rates, at least initially, the rates on mortgages may go down, not up, because it would mean the Federal Reserve is serious about making sure inflation doesn't get out of control. But now I'm moving into an area of ifs and what happens rather than the reality, which is the job market is better and that many interest rates that you pay are likely headed higher. Our number is 877-87-CLARK. Mike is with us on the Clark Howard Show. Hi, Mike. Hi, how you doing? Great, thank you, Mike. You have a interesting question for me about working past when a lot of people want to. Well, that's right. Uh, I'm 75. I have a part-time job that brings in about $3,000 a year. I don't uh, really... I hate to say this, but I don't really need that money, and I've just been investing it. Does it make any sense to put it into my existing Roth account? Yes. Not only does it make sense, that's a brilliant idea. So I love that. You're working part-time just because you want to, and so it throws off money that's just there. You put it in a Roth, there's multiple layers of benefit to you putting the money in a Roth. One, the money will grow tax-free. Two, if you ne never need that money, it's a wonderful asset for loved ones to inherit. But three, if you ever do need the money, you'll be able to spend from it tax-free. Now, I understand that you're not supposed to touch it for five years, the initial investment. Am I understanding that correctly? No, with a Roth, money you contribute to it is free for you to take at any time, free of any penalty or taxes. Only the earnings would potentially be subject to tax at some point. But the the actual contributions, you pop 3000 in and you decide you need it next year 
or six months from now, you're allowed to pull that 3000 out without any consequence at all. Okay, I just can't take any earnings that it's made. Exactly. For, uh, for a period of five years? Okay, so you're taking me into an area I'm trying to remember the rules on because I never have anybody ask me who's, um, who's past 59 and a half. <laughs> I would think that you would be free to take both um, principal and earnings, but I, I can't swear to that because I've never had the question before. Well, I found something on the web that seemed to indicate that the time the clock started when you first opened the IRA. Yeah, that I, I'm afraid I, I don't want to answer that. But from the reality is, is that if you need cash, just taking the earning, the uh, initial contribution, should be enough for you to deal with any short-term financial needs. Now, I really don't expect to have to need it. I'd prefer to pass it on to my kids. Well, you are a nice dad, and it's so much better for an inheritance versus a traditional IRA. Yeah. May I ask you an unrelated travel question? Sure. My impression is that you would go international standing up the whole way if you could get a cheaper ticket. No. <laughs> well, no, I'm no, I, I will not. In fact, um, my rule is when I fly domestic, I would stand up. And, you know, Ryanair, the big European discounter, has proposed having a standing section in the back of the aircraft at ultra cheap fares and I would do that I love standing anyway I stand the whole time I do the show I'd be happy to stand for an up to four hour flight but when I take a long over the water flight I want to be comfortable well what's a good source for comfort I keep hearing how their seats are getting tighter and tighter and being over six foot tall I'm not excited about being cramped for hours on end the European and Asian airlines are offering a premium economy product that is a very good product. It's the equivalent of like a domestic first class seat. And well, I'm headed the other way if I go to Hawaii. Oh, so when you fly within the United States, our full fare airlines, American United and Delta, offer a um, like a, a premium coach that is not a bigger seat. It just gives you a little more leg room. It's only when you travel on the foreign airlines that you can get a really, really nice premium economy product. So going to Hawaii, you really have a choice only of a traditional cramped coach seat or buying first class. Ouch. Yeah. So I'll tell you a tip on that. Hawaiian Airlines flies from so much of the mainland now to Hawaii and they offer day of departure, actually 20, 24 hours in advance, they offer an upgrade to first class at relatively inexpensive upgrade charges. Very interesting. Worth looking into. Okay. Thanks, Clark. Sure. And on the five-year rule, it looks like you're right, that it's only from when you initially open the, the Roth IRA. Okay. Since I opened it in... 2009, I could put in uh, money this year and take the whole thing plus its earnings back out if I wanted to. That's my understanding. But again, I've never had the situation and never the circumstance, so I'm still on shaky ground on thin ice answering that. But the great news is you're able to continue to save money and leave it for your kids. Jose is with us on the Clark Howard Show. Hi, Jose. Hi, how you doing? Great, thank you, Jose. How can I be of service to you? Well, a friend of mine um, convinced me to join this company and said that it's going to save me money on my gas and electric. Uh, about 2% in a year. And in total, if I were to recruit five more households, to do the same thing that I did to save money, then I will be getting free gas and electric. Okay, I guess that is possible. There are a number of what are known as multi levels around the country in states that have deregulated either electricity or gasoline. And they offer the thing where the more people you recruit in, 
the more a cut in price you get on your power or gas for recruiting those people in. So it is possible, although getting all your gas and electric for free, or getting gas or electric for free, that I've not heard, but getting meaningful discounts, I have heard that. Do you have to pay any money up front to participate? Uh, no, I didn't, I didn't pay anything at all. So all you got to do is you join up, you go as part of your friend's uh, ladder or downline or whatever, and then if you recruit, so he gets money for you doing that, and then you recruit others, you get money, and it's for, for a real service. Right. Yeah, I, I can't tell you off the bat that I have any problem with that because there is an actual real thing you're getting. It's all about you signing up through them for deregulated natural gas or electricity and doing it that way if you're getting a legitimate savings from what you'd be paying otherwise that sounds straight up where i get nervous is with any of the power buying things or gas buying things where you have to pay a big upfront fee then i worry more that it's about getting people to sign up and pay the fee rather than buying the gas or the electricity. You're listening to The Clark Howard Show. I'm all about keeping it simple. Been getting the same haircut from the same guy for 20 years. You can't beat simple. That's why the first place I turn to when I need something is Granger. I don't want one place for my safety products and another for my abrasives. Granger has over 1.2 million products and the solutions I need to help keep this place running. Granger. Simple. Simple. Granger. Get it? Got it? Good. Call clickgranger.com or stop by. Granger. For the ones who get it done. You bought five quarts of Valvoline conventional oil and a Napa silver filter for just $19.99. So now's your time to shine, king of the cul-de-sac. Just don't drop the drain plug in the pan. Again. Five quarts of Valvoline and a silver filter, just $19.99. Conquer the job with Napa know-how. General States pricing. Sales prices do not include applicable state local taxes or recycling fees. At participating Napa Auto Parts stores, offer expires 6 15 Vision Computers has been in business for over 22 years, and they still answer their tech support phone in under 15 seconds. At Vision, you can get a PC specially built just for you to meet your specifications. They even provide a three-year warranty on parts and labor on all Vision-built laptops and desktops. Check out all the products at visioncomputers.com. Get great prices and their world-class support. 877 877- Nine Vision. That's eight seven seven nine Vision. Vision Computers. Great prices and the best support after the sale. Hall of Fame driver Richard Petty for Blue Emu. Maintenance is important. To help me keep feeling my best, I use odor-free Blue Emu made with real emu oil. Blue Emu Continuous Pain Relief Spray has an active ingredient to relieve the aches and pains of my muscles and joints, and it's perfect for hard-to-reach places. Hey, even us precision machines need a little help sometimes. Use what I use, Blue Emu. It works fast, and you won't stink. Blue Emu, available at Walmart, Walgreens, Rite Aid, and other fine stores. Doors. Want to learn more about your furnace or air conditioner? Tune in this Saturday for free tips and expert advice on how to get the most out of your heating and air conditioning system. Or get a free AC rejuvenation by being the first person to go to cleanmyac.com. That's cleanmyac.com. Saturday, free tips and expert advice on how to get the most out of your heating and air conditioning system. Or get a free AC rejuvenation by being the first person to go to cleanmyac.com. That's cleanmyac.com. Here's what you may have missed on the John Tesh Radio Show. Fidgeting can make it easier to lose weight. Many couples think that once they're married, all their issues with in-laws will disappear. But Steinort says a marriage magnifies these problems. So if you're having family clashes with potential in-laws, it's best to resolve those issues before you get married. Just like couples can take out a loan for a house or a new car, there's been a huge surge in loan companies catering to wannabe parents. Intelligence for your life on the John Tesh Radio Show. Don't miss this stuff.
Don't get caught without your daily source of senior deals. Pick up your copy of the Senior Voice newspaper. It's your source for schedule and events tailored to seniors with information you need, like a list of free events in the area. We even have Tom's Picks, a free referral for people who are looking for a company to do work for them. Tom's Picks will refer the company to you that fits your needs. And all we ask in return is that you tell them where you heard about them. For more information, call Tom's Picks, 352-804-1223 and pick up your copy of The Senior's Voice at most any business up and down the 200 corridor. Now read Ocala Downtown Newspaper Online. Hi, Danny Warfel here. Get moving with Florida Credit Union's fast and easy loan approval process. Let Florida Credit Union start up a new car loan for you today. No more waiting, hassles, or stop signs. You can even apply online. With a strong financial team behind you, you can enjoy great rates and fast approvals. It's all about personalized service and a streamlined process. Florida Credit Union, connecting your money to your life. Career Source Citrus Levy Marion brings together business and community partners, economic development leaders, and educational providers to connect employers with qualified, skilled talent, and job seekers with employment and career development opportunities. Tune in the first and third Wednesday of each month at 9.30 a.m. to Career Source Citrus Levy Marion and learn how they can help you. Putting the local back into radio. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. W-O-C-A News. Variety. Information. Now. Keep your arms and legs on the inside at all times. This is James Snyder inviting you to join me each Sunday morning at 9.30 for Sunday Joy on 1370 AM 96.3 FM. 1370 WOCA. Our number is 87787 Clark. Susan's with us. Hi, Susan. How are you today? Oh, hi. I'm good. Hey, it's a pleasure to speak with you. I have so much admiration for you. Well, you're kind to say that. You, you do, And you do not stink. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> you know, okay. to save water, I take very few showers, save money. <laughs> no. um, I'm a cashier, and I would say at least one half of the cards that I handle are not signed. Um, now, I ask for ID, they ask me why, and I say it's because it's not signed, and they come up with all kinds of reasons why they don't sign it. You are supposed to sign your card, right? Yes, and even if somebody would like you to check ID, you know how some people will say CID on the back of the card because they're yeah. trying to prevent credit card fraud? You should right. still sign the card, and next to where you've signed it, say CID. Okay. So, well, yeah, it, it's not a good idea that people don't um, don't go to the next step of signing the card because then if it falls into somebody else's hands, they can sign your name the way they would sign it. And then even if somebody's closely comparing signature, they're off the races. But I want you to right. think about your daily life. When you're out and about, how often is it that you run your own card on your side of the register and the card is never looked at, the signature is never compared. That's true probably 90% of the time I use my card. Yeah, yeah. Well, here we still, we have to see it. We have to do it. And um, So you got some people get ugly with you because you say... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I had one lady actually tell me that the credit card company told her not to sign her card. No. Uh, she's she's that, very confused. Yeah, yeah. So Another that lady would... told me the bank told her not to sign it, and I thought, I just have to bite my tongue. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely not true. Yeah, okay, good. Maybe if they hear it from you. <laughs> now, I understand when they go to the chip and the pen and we're not going to go to we're going to chip in the united states sadly we are not going to pen which would be a much better safety feature so we will continue to have more fraud with our payment systems than the rest of the world this weather brought to you by kenny's place nursery beautiful people selling beautiful plants and flowers at beautiful prices give them a call 352-867-1213 for kenny's place 
That was the sound of a tree falling. It could be your tree. You're going to have it trimmed, but never got around to calling Pride Tree Service. It could have fallen in a field, and now all you have to do is call Pride Tree Service, and they'll have it quickly out of the way for a great price. But don't wait until the tree falls. It may not fall in the field. It may hit your car, your house, or worse. So call Pride Tree Service today and avoid all those headaches before they happen. Pride Tree Service, 840-0750. That's 840-0750. Hi, I'm Fran Darkington. When I need news, I pass the rest and tune to the source. W-O-C-A. Broadcasting from the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, The Source. News Radio. I'm Lee Silasara. The Texas police officer who wrestled a teenage girl to the ground at a pool party over the weekend has resigned from the force. Eric Casebold had been on leave. Earlier, White House spokesman Josh Ernest was asked about the incident. Graphic incidents like the one that we saw depicted on that video uh, do have a detrimental impact uh, on the relationship between local law enforcement uh, and by the local community. Case Bolt served nearly 10 years on the force. Three jurors in the Colorado movie theater massacre trial removed from the panel. One juror said another juror talked about the case with other jurors, that she heard the word mistrial and that the DA had tweeted about the case. The judge questioned multiple jurors, including the one alleged to have talked about the case. She said her husband had called her while she was with other jurors during a lunch break. She put him on speaker and he talked about the tweet. Fox Radio's Jessica Rosenthal. There are 12 alternates available. Fox News, we report you decide. And now another golf confessional brought to you by Golfsmith. Recently, a man decided to spare his family the expense of Father's Day. No lunches, cards, or gifts. Then he heard about amazing savings on the latest products at Golfsmith and immediately changed his mind. Besides, he could always be thrifty on another holiday, like Valentine's Day. Hurry in for savings on prior generation Titleist Pro V1s and FootJoy DNA golf shoes this Father's Day. Only at Golfsmith. Anything for golf. At Choice Hotels, we know business trips start with a choice. Stay or go. You can press send or press palms. Start a chat room or chat in an actual room. Just remember, opportunities won't come to you. you got to get out there to get things done. Should I stay or should I go? Choicehotels.com makes it fast and easy to find a range of choice hotels like Comfort Inn and Suites. So stay with us for business and book now at choicehotels.com. You always have a choice. Hi, I'm Seth with AA Lock, Dock, and Security. Have you ever thought about the locks or security on your house or business? Have you ever wondered why the keys to your new car cost so much? Well, at AA Lock, Dock, and Security, we can help with securing your valuables. We can even replace those expensive transponder keys. We can give you the knowledge that no one else will. Call AA Lock, Dock, and Security at 867-1965. That's 867-1965. Local Graphics would like to invite you to their second location on 200 next to Sunny's Barbecue. They are officially open to help you out with all your sign, vehicle, wraps, and printing needs. Visit them and mention this ad for free business cards. Need a logo? We've got you covered. From business cards all the way to menus and flyers. Now two locations to better serve you. On Maricamp, half a mile east from Forest High School. And on 200 by Sunny's Barbecue. Local Graphics, impacting your customers. Like us on Facebook. If you've been hearing about the crowded Eaton's Beach Sandbar and Grill and were worried because you couldn't get in, I've got some good news for you. Seating is now available. While you're there, look up Chef Dave Del Rio. He'll buy you a drink. Now is the time for you to finally see firsthand what your friends are talking about. At Eaton's Beach Sandbar and Grill, try Chef Dave's tantalizing Louisiana menu. Check out those gorgeous Lakewear sunsets. Eaton's Beach Sandbar and Grill on beautiful Lakewear. Seating now available. 
So you need a credit card. But how do you choose? Let's compare the big banks to Florida Credit Union. They have rewards. And we do too. They have customer service. Hello, 24-7. They have celebrities. Hey, Danny. But with Florida Credit Union, there's no annual fee, no liability for fraudulent charges, and no 22% interest rates. Choose Florida Credit Union, and you'll not only have a great credit card, but you'll have the support and personal touch that the big banks, well, can't touch. Florida Credit Union, connecting your money to your life. Federally insured by the NCUA. Black Cow Composted Cow Manure is a terrific organic soil amendment. We start with cow manure from dairy farms and then compost it a full 90 days. The result is an all-natural, dark, rich soil amendment that's great for everything you grow. Flowers, vegetables, shrubs, trees, and lawns, too. Look for Black Cow in the bright yellow and black bag at your favorite nursery or garden center. Black Cow, the mature manure, Black Cow. Who doesn't love heading out on the boat with a family, hitting the ATV trails with friends, or blazing new stretches of highway with riding buddies? Your toys are your ticket to outdoor fun. At the McDonald Allstate Agency, we get to know you and help make sure you have all the right coverages. Plus, when you bundle your coverage for your car and your home with your boat, motorcycle, RV, or more, you can save up to 30%. So call the McDonald Allstate Agency today at 622-2333 or stop by one of our two Ocala locations at Cala Hills or the Jasmine Square Plaza. Subject to terms, condition, and availability. Savings vary. Hi, this is Brad. I want to take a moment to talk about a serious issue. In the next five years, the aviation industry is projected to have a shortage of commercial pilots. Now is the time to start training. Ocala Flying Club has started a scholarship for the youth of Marion County ages 17 to 24. The club will donate up to $4,000 towards a pilot's license. This will help get the student on their way to obtain their commercial pilot license. If this sounds like something you would be interested in, or if you know someone that would be, please contact Ocala Aviation Services, 861-7484. Putting the local back into radio. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. W-O-C-A News. Variety. Information. Now. Keep your arms and legs on the inside at all times. Listening to the Clark Howard Show. It's time to take charge of your wallet and your future. Missing a minute can cost you big time. Prepare to save more, spend less, and avoid getting ripped off with Clark Howard. I'm glad you're with us on the Clark Howard Show, where it's all about you learning ways to save more and spend less. And don't let anybody ever rip you off. 877-87-CLARK's our number. Follow me at facebook.com slash Clark Howard. Our web address, clarkhoward.com. And if you eat food, that's all of us. I have breaking news for you in 30 minutes about you being able to eat better and make it easier to do so, I'm going to tell you what the future is bringing now in just 30 minutes. That didn't make sense, what the future is bringing now, but not telling you for 30 minutes. Oh, well, you have to wait, because right now there's this. Survey says you hate car dealers. You don't dislike car dealers. You hate car dealers. Accenture, which is a big consulting group, surveyed 10,000 people. Nobody ever surveys 10,000 people. Usually it's 1,500 with results being accurate within plus or minus 3%. No, they did 10,000. And three-quarters of people said, quote, if given the opportunity, they would consider making their entire car buying process online, including financing, price negotiation, back office paperwork, and home delivery. People, that's three-quarters of people. So I can't say everybody, but... I believe the car buying process has gotten significantly better. 
but it is an industry that has been hostile to change, slow to change. And I read a story quoting the guy who runs the largest dealership chain in the country, Mike Jackson, who runs the Auto Nation chain. And he's just so frustrated with his competitors because they've fought laws around the country that would open up the car business, and they've fought things that would make it much easier for you to buy a car the way you want to buy it. And the reality is, if the industry doesn't change, change is going to happen anyway. You cannot bottle up technology, and technology makes it possible to do all those things making your entire car buying process online and putting you in control of the process. So in the meantime, you and I are finding new ways to buy cars. Listen to this from Business Week. Costco Wholesale sold 400,000 vehicles just in the last year. They're becoming one of the largest car sellers in the United States. Why? Well, when you walk by uh, the, the fence at Costco, you know, they have a chain link fence. It's like 14 feet high to try to eliminate shoplifting. So when you walk by that, they'll usually have a car on display from a participating dealer, and they'll have brochures about buying in the Costco car buying program. The program is designed to eliminate the hassle of buying a car or the perceived hassle. The price is negotiated and all that, and Costco sends in undercover buyers to see if dealers try to cheat you, play games, put pressure on, whatever. And for Costco, it's not about them making money on the cars. It's like giving members another reason why they want to renew and pay 55 to $110 a year to renew their membership. But people are doing it because they want to eliminate that angst that they have going to car dealers. There are people within five feet of me who are terrified of car dealers, and one person tells a story about crying at a car dealership, it was a really long time ago. Hey, hey, look, I didn't say it was you. Of I just it was me. What is it, Joel? <laughs> I just looked your direction. Could have been Kim. It was Joel, no. <laughs> Kim doesn't stay there long enough to cry. She just buys a car and gets out of there. <laughs> so, anyway, I've talked about the services available where AAA does a car buying thing. There are a number of credit unions that do car buying programs online you've got the apps that let you do it or on a computer or on apps using true car or USAA members have a fantastic car buying program and you still have some points of friction where you have to deal with the dealer but i want you to think about if you're a car dealer and steam is coming out of your ears you got to make your car buying process modern you have to meet the customer the way they want to be met. And I think about the used car sellers who understood that completely. CarMax, which came about way before the internet or all that, just did research, why do people hate car dealers? And they eliminated those pain points one by one and made a completely different car buying process for used cars and now in some markets for new cars too. And then there's Carvana that has come up with a new way for you to buy used cars. And there is one I talked about recently that connects uh, individuals trying to sell a car with buyers. Don't know how that one's going to play out. But I want you to know that you don't have to wait for the car dealers to decide that they should be a modern business. You can use methods that make it easier and more pain-free for you to buy a car, whether it's the Costco program or the AAA program or the credit union program or True Car or USAA or others that I've not mentioned, where you don't put yourself into that situation where you feel like you're at the dentist office 
having work done with no pain relief. And if you are a traditional car dealer who doesn't realize the earth has moved, you're never going to sell a car to somebody under age 35. Forget it. Because they're just not going to do business with you if you don't adapt, you don't change. And you want to stay in business, right? Our number is 877-87-CLARK. Brenda's with us on the Clark Howard Show. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Clark. Brenda, you have a question for me about making your home safe. What's the scoop? Yes. Actually, I presently... Well, actually, I'm trying to save some money. Um, so I presently have... Um, alarm system on my house and however it's hooked into my cable you know my phone my house phone which is through cable i have the uh cable internet and the house phone in a, like a package deal with the cable company but i'm looking to save money and i want it to drop the security system well the company that i'm using because they've gone up on their price and so, what are they charging you per month for um, monitoring? Now, thirty dollars a month. Thirty? Yes. Thirty? Yes. Started it with... At thirty a month, do they have somebody who comes and babysits you at your house? No. That's no. ridiculous. So I wanted to change, and I've called some other companies, and they've they've been around twenty five to thirty as well. So. I know that there's, I've seen on your website um, where there's this other monitoring company, but you buy the, I guess, the uh, the stuff from them and put it in, your, install it yourself, but I didn't know if I needed to do that since I already have equipment installed. Yeah, if you, unless the equipment is what's known as proprietary equipment, some unethical burglar alarm companies put in equipment that can only be monitored by them and they'll do a closed system uh, that the the entire system has to be removed and then you start over okay but you know if you look on the internet it's amazing how cheap you can buy monitoring now from a ul approved monitoring station there are so many quotes that come in at like 10 to 15 dollars a month but i've said over the years 15 to 20 is very much in the the range of where you should be able to find monitoring okay so do i need to call the company and find out if it's a closed yeah what you do who you're with now you want to find out one do you own the system or are you leasing it okay if you're leasing it you need to know uh when your lease period ends so you can just throw it out okay if you own it then you can call other companies that offer monitoring. Monitoring should be offered with no contract when you already have the equipment anyway. Okay. And you find a company that's like 15, 17, whatever per month for monitoring, and you say, can you take over monitoring on a so-and-so system? And they may ask you to go look at your the boxy thing that's in your garage or wherever mm -hmm. and tell them the model number, and they'll be able to tell you if they can take over monitoring on it. Okay. And is there a website or somewhere I could go to look up these different companies? Well, you can do it a number of ways. You can uh, potentially go on Yelp in a number of cities okay. and put in uh, security system monitoring, okay. and you'll see a number of companies. You can even go and do like a Google search and say uh, monthly security system monitoring, and you'll see a bunch of different quotes from companies. Just if you buy a company over the Internet like that, you want to make sure that the uh, monitoring station is UL approved. The same people that make sure that a lamp in your house isn't going to burn your house down. Okay. There's a standard of requirements that a burglar alarm monitoring station has to meet in order to be a UL approved monitoring station. Okay. And that's a way for you to get a decent company. But never should you be signing a contract for monitoring, especially when you own your own equipment. No way. Okay, and so if it's a leased, if it's leased, if it's leased, that's the worst possible circumstance. Okay, and then so then you just over. say you notify them in writing as the lease requires, and send it certified mail that when you're eligible to have it removed, you want them to come get their junk. Okay, 
Okay. And then you have the tough choice where you pay more up front for equipment, but equipment you own. Okay. There's also, even if you're minimally handy, there's a system called Simply Safe, which right. is very popular. S I M P L I Safe dot com. Right. Where you can put in your own system, and then the monitoring is fifteen dollars a month. Okay. Okay, great. So, so go for it. Do not sign any contracts with any of those companies. Okay. Great. And I know a lot of companies will say, oh, nobody, nobody out there will allow you to have a system without a contract. Not true. Rick is with us on the Clark Howard Show. Hi, Rick. Hey, Clark. How are you? Great. Thank you, Rick. How can I serve you? Well, I'm a, uh, a college student that's heading into my senior year, and um, I have about ten to $11,000 that is just sitting in between a checking and savings account and um so you know it's not really doing anything for me and i just want to know if there's anything i should be doing with it whether it's saving for retirement or just saving for um you know the future when i get out of school or what fantastic fantastic that you are in a position that you have that kind of money while you're in school have you been working your way through school uh, yeah, I'm. I work part time while I'm going to school, and I have a decent amount of scholarship money coming in too. So it, I'm not taking out any loans or anything. Wow, wow! You are like on the. I mean, you're like on third base where most people haven't even come up to bat and how they handle money <laughs> as a soon to be senior in college. That is fantastic. Thank you. So the question would come on that: How soon will you need any of the money? Uh, well, it's tough to say because I'm definitely going to be going to grad school. I'm, right now I'm considering law school. Um, so, I mean, I, I have money saved up in like a prepaid college account, but I mean, there's probably only you know, $15,000 left in that, and law school is going to be a lot more expensive than that, obviously. So, I don't know if I would be pulling money from that or if I should be taking out loans to go to law school or, you know, I don't know if it would be uh, a better idea to just take that money and invest it and use it in the future. So if you have, you said you're working part-time, how much are you earning per year part-time? Uh, probably about 20000 or so. Oh, well cash. then you should take $5,500 and pop it straight into a Roth IRA. Okay. And then next January, do the other, because you have 10 or 11 or something, do the rest in a Roth IRA in January. And then you'll okay. have a lot of flexibility what you do with the money as far as if you end up needing it for school you can pull your contributions out tax and penalty free but if you don't need the money you can let that money grow tax free all through your twenties thirties forties fifties sixties and that money will become huge money down the road that would be my number one recommendation if you don't know much about Roths or how to invest them go look at my investment guide at clarkhoward.com Congratulations to you for how much you're earning while you're in school and the fact that you're going to graduate with no student loan debt. You're listening to The Clark Howard Show. Yuvia needed financing to grow her restaurant business, but her bank simply didn't understand. I was frustrated. Yuvia found On Deck Business Loans. On Deck did it for me. I called on Saturday, and I had $50,000 in my account on Monday morning. How about the terms? Incredibly easy. It doesn't mess with your cash flow. On Deck changed everything. This company, On Deck, is going to be there for me. Was it a good move? I'm looking to increase sales probably 30%. Been in business for at least a year with $100,000 plus in revenue, On Deck can get you $5,000 to $250,000 in as little as one business day. And they're A-plus rated with the Better Business Bureau. On Deck has opened up so many doors for me now. Truly, truly, the sky is the limit. I, I'm excited. Apply now at ondecklending.com or call 800-516-8921. 800-516-8921. 800-516-8921. Loan subject to lender approval. <laughs> Sure, your handshake might be stronger than a bench vice, but when oil and grease get on your paws, your grip becomes slipperier than a politician on a cable news channel. Good thing Scott Shop Towels are now only $1.99 a roll at Napa. 
They're strong, absorbent, and ready when you need them. And at just a buck ninety-nine for Scott Shop towels, it's one deal you'll want to grab hold of. Conquer the job with Napa Know How. At participating Napa Auto Parts stores, offer expires six thirty fifteen. It'll be home to nine hundred and forty-two bursts of laughter, a sixteen-pound black and turkey dinner, and the loudest burp on record. It will see its fair share of broken windows, broken bones, and broken hearts. But first, you have to find it. Start your home search at Zillow.com or on our family of apps. You can view millions of photos, browse historical pricing data, and even sign up for alerts when new homes hit the market. Zillow, find your way home. On the next AML Color Live, Robin and I will be speaking to Randy Susan Meyer. She's written a book called Accidents of Marriage. News Bites, the hottest news and current events are bite size. And then David Glasgow is coming out to speak to us about the results of a new national survey that shows in person reunions are still relevant. Jim DeBerry, the general manager of Wild Waters Water Park, will be in the studio with a gator handler and a baby alligator. And Mark Robinson, a comedian, they'll be speaking about Wild Waters. And then psychiatrist, Dr. Susan L. Edelman will be on the air with us. She's written a book that's called Be Your Own Brand of Sexy. It's a new sexual revolution for women. Ooh, yay. <laughs> Have all of your legal questions answered by attorney John Fuller on Legally Yours. And then Dwight K. will be on with us. Congress is thinking about getting rid of Section 1031 of the IRS Code. And then keep up with the latest travel tips with travel expert Anthony James. All of that plus fun with Joe on the next AM Alcala Live. R&D Tactical Solutions, Ocala's indoor gun range. 12 climate-controlled, state-of-the-art lanes. R&D Tactical Solutions, full retail store, everything from firearms to CCW classes. Located next to the Supervisor of Elections. Open 9 to 7 weekdays, 9 to 5 Saturdays, and 10 to 4 Sundays. Call 622-7468. R&D Tactical Solutions, Ocala's indoor gun range. Call 622-7468. Come join New Male Medical, the experts in men's sexual health, and celebrate the opening of their newest location in the Villages this Friday from 11 to 1 at 8640 County Road 466. That's at the Santa Fe Crossing on 466 going towards Rolling Acres. There will be free food and refreshments for all in attendance. Spend some time touring the facilities, and men get a free testosterone screening. For more information, call 404-4779. That's 404-4779. Robin, let's try a little plant trivia. Name this nursery. It's a not-for-profit, and it teaches growing and caring for plants to their students. Oh, that's easy. Kenny's Place. Or how about this one? It's a nursery conveniently located between Ocala and Bellevue. Again, it's Kenny's Place. Or how about this one? A nursery with a wide variety of just what you need or want at the most reasonable prices. Kenny's Place, of course. Kenny's Place at 7677 Southeast 41st Court. Give them a call at 867-1213. It's a caring place for people and plants. It's Kenny's Place. Here's what you may have missed on the John Tesh Radio Show. Fidgeting can make it easier to lose weight. Many couples think that once they're married, all their issues with in-laws will disappear. But Steinort says a marriage magnifies these problems. So if you're having family clashes with potential in-laws, it's best to resolve those issues before you get married. Just like couples can take out a loan for a house or a new car, there's been a huge surge in loan companies catering to wannabe parents. Intelligence for your life on the John Tesh Radio Show. Don't miss this stuff. Our number on the Clark Howard Show, 877-87-CLARK. I wanted to tell you about a new occasional feature on the Clark Howard Show called the Empowerment Zone. I want you to be part of in inspiring someone to make a difference in his or her life. What I want is if you have a story you can share about how you had adversity in your life and you turned it around financially, a mountain of debt, uh, recovering from a job loss, whatever it is, where, or you stood up for yourself. Somebody was cheating you, taking advantage of you, and you fought back using unconventional methods to be treated fairly and right, to even the odds. I want to hear from you. We have a place at ClarkHoward.com where you go to our community and click on Clark's Empowerment Zone. There's a simple form. takes you just 30 seconds to fill out. 
and tell about your story. And occasionally you will hear, if you've got a great story, we'll interview you, put your story on the air. You get to tell it first person and share to help others because ultimately we are a team together trying to make a difference in each other's lives. I work for a Fortune 500 company. I've been exposing sensitive business documents for over 15 years. Some share vital information for money, others to expose wrongdoing. My reasons are different. Why do I do it? I need to print stuff, and sometimes I forget to pick it up. Is that so wrong? Unattended documents can make your printer one of your company's greatest security risks. Learn how to gain control of document security at nuance.com slash gain control. Mobile One Synthetic Oil delivers peak performance in any engine. And now it's just $5.99 a quart at Napa. So whether you're pushing a four-banger, rolling a straight six, or running a V-something that rattles grandpa's dentures and frightens small children, treat it right with Mobile One from Napa. Only $5.99 a quart. Conquer the job with Napa know-how. General states pricing. Sales prices do not include applicable state local taxes or recycling fees. At participating Napa Auto Parts stores. Your source for the number one sports weekend, Fox Sports, only on 96.3 FM, 1370 AM. W-O-C-A. Fox News Radio, I'm Lee Silasera. The Texas police officer who wrestled a teenage girl to the ground at a pool party over the weekend has resigned from the force. Eric Casebold had been on leave. Earlier, White House spokesman Josh Ernest was asked about the incident. Graphic incidents, like the one that we saw depicted on that video, uh, do have a detrimental impact uh, on the relationship between local law enforcement uh, and by the local community. Case Bolt served nearly 10 years on the force. Three jurors in the Colorado movie theater massacre trial removed from the panel. One juror said another juror talked about the case with other jurors, that she heard the word mistrial and that the DA had tweeted about the case. The judge questioned multiple jurors, including the one alleged to have talked about the case. She said her husband had called her while she was with other jurors during a lunch break. She put him on speaker and he talked about the tweet. Fox Radio's Jessica Rosenthal. There are 12 alternates available. Fox News. We report you decide. And now another golf confessional brought to you by Golfsmith. Recently, a man decided to spare his family the expense of Father's Day. No lunches, cards, or gifts. Then he heard about amazing savings on the latest products at Golfsmith and immediately changed his mind. Besides, he could always be thrifty on another holiday, like Valentine's Day. Hurry in for savings on prior generation Titleist Pro V1s and FootJoy DNA golf shoes this Father's Day, only at Golfsmith. Anything for golf. At Choice Hotels, we know business trips start with a choice. Stay or go. You can press send or press palms. Start a chat room or chat in an actual room. Just remember, opportunities won't come to you. you got to get out there to get things done. Should I stay or should I go? ChoiceHotels.com makes it fast and easy to find a range of choice hotels like Comfort Inn and Suites. So stay with us for business and book now at ChoiceHotels.com. You always have a choice. If you're anything like I was, the thought of getting older was the last thing on your mind. But here we are. For me, it started slowly. The lack of energy. Never being in the mood. And when I was, I could never perform at my best. I tried the pills and other treatments with minimal results. And all but given up on my sex life. Then, I found the doctors at New Male Medical Center. Wow! They made a new male out of me. Feel like I'm 25 again. I have renewed vigor. So much more energy. And no longer worry about my performance. New Male treated me like my situation was one of a kind. With a custom treatment plan that really works. I feel great. They can create one for you too. It does not matter if you suffer from low testosterone, erectile dysfunction, or just want to last longer. New Male will help you. Call New Male Medical Center today at 352-404-4779. 352-404-4779. That's 352-404-4779. It will change your life. 352-404-4779. 
Hey, I'm Gary. And I'm Eric. Did you know that Red Eye Radio is on WOCA The Source every night from 2 to 6 a.m. and it's live. That's right. No tape shows here. We know that the news doesn't sleep. And neither do we. So we're here with you live from 2 till 6 a.m. every weekday. Call us 866-90-RED-EYE. So join me, Gary McNamara. And me, Eric Harley, every weeknight to discuss the latest in news and entertainment. Right here on WOCA The Source. Hey, Matt, I know Sunrise Automotive does auto stuff, but I need some tires for my truck. Can you recommend someone? Uh, yes, I can. We do that. No, I mean, I need them installed and balanced and all that. Yep, yep, we do that. Well, my son needed his windows tinted. Yep, we, we do that. I need too. my seat replaced. Yep, yep, we do that too. I need a new roof line, a new spoiler, and a new Yep, truck. we can even do that too. Okay, okay, I get it. I suppose you can also do a radio show too, huh? Well, as a matter of fact, join me every Monday at 10 for auto repair with personal care here on The Source. Of course you do. Good credits, bad credits. It's none of our business because we're not an auto dealer. We're not a bank. We're not your mother. We're O'Kellaforsale.com. Marion County's marketplace for cars, trucks, and SUVs. We've got thousands of sellers standing by to take your call. No middleman. But hurry, don't walk, don't run. Just sit down and log on to O'Kellaforsale.com. License and inventory change daily. Offer does not include dealer up charge. Undercutting rust proofing factory surcharge or delivery fee. See website for details. Do you have areas that have started sagging or drooping? Is what you're looking at not quite the same as it was years ago? Are there enhancements you've been putting off? Is there serious damage you need fixed? Then call on us, Damage Control Services. When your roof is sagging and the drywall is drooping after a storm, or your home just needs some enhancements, from damage repairs to new construction, Damage Control Services is here to help. Hi, I'm Leah Caruso with Strive Rehabilitation, inviting you to join me Thursday at 11 a.m. for Health Matters. Ocala Health and Strive have teamed up to bring you the latest information on good health services available to you right here at home. This vital information will help you make informed decisions about your health. So don't forget to join me here at 11 a.m. Thursday. It's news you can use from Ocala Health, Strive, and your friends here at WOCA. I'm glad you're with us on the Clark Howard Show, where it's all about you learning ways to save more and spend less. And don't let anybody ever rip you off. Our number, 877-87-CLARK. ClarkHoward.com is the web address. And follow me at Facebook.com slash Clark Howard. So we meet as a crew each day before the show, our TV people, the web people, you know, digital people, the radio people. Uh, we all get together and talk about ideas and uh, what things we're hearing from our off-air advice line. If you're not aware, we answer calls off the air for free 45 hours a week. And there was something I brought up that I had seen on Wired.com that polarized people and energized people like nothing I can remember in such a long time. And it's like, about this? Well, maybe you'll be fired up, too. A company has developed a new oven that uses artificial intelligence, electronic probes, and figures out, just by you putting a food item in it, how to cook it for how long and the rest. If you put a steak into the oven for it to make a steak and you want your steak to be medium, it will figure out, allegedly, exactly how long to cook that steak and at what temperature and tell you when it's ready. You put in a a turkey, it will cook the turkey perfectly, in theory. And the oven is a beta. In other words, the people who buy it early are paying big money for something that, well, may have hits or misses. The review, though, is uh, technology reviewers usually are either over the moon about something or write nothing but skepticism. This review that I've read, including one other I read from another technology writer, is a mix of the two, over the moon and skeptical simultaneously. 
The oven is called the June. It is $1,495. It is always connected to the Internet, and it gets smarter over time. That is, it learns to cook a type of food. It just gets better and better. Now, why was this so agitating to people in our crew? Because I have some people who love to cook, and cooking is a great joy. It's an art form and all that. And there are people that are that fired up about cooking. Me, I just like to eat. And for me, being able to buy something at the supermarket and throw it in the oven and it comes out cooked perfectly and I don't have to think of it at all that it's cooking by numbers like paint by numbers I'm all about it so for the artiste you're going to be able to get some kind of fancy oven like fancy like something that looks like some kind of industrial thing from a restaurant and you're going to be able to get out your 47 pots and pans and all your sauces and spices and create whatever you want to for me i just want to throw it in and have it come out however many minutes later as a cooked item so i have no romantic aspect to me about food at all i just want to eat the stuff so early beta But I can tell you that there is no doubt and no question that things like the June are going to be very common. Full name, if you want to look at it on DuckDuckGo or Google, is the June Intelligent Oven. And there are many. I just did it now, just pulled up a Google search, tons of reviews of it, and learn about it. See if you want to be an early adopter, a beta tester and just have the food hopefully come out right. Now, years and years and years ago, I talked about a Panasonic little tabletop oven that was very inexpensive, that cooked food supposedly more evenly and much quicker, and that one did catch on in the marketplace. I forget what that Panasonic thing was called many years ago. But we are moving into an era of choice with so many different things where technology can be the bane of our existence or our best friend. This kind of thing, definitely my best friend. Our number, 877-87-CLARK. Charles is with us. Hello, Charles. How are you? Hi, Clark. Charles, you have a technology question for me. I do. I'm thinking about putting solar on my house with a battery backup system, and I just wanted to know what type of price points I should be looking at. Well, you know, there's controversy about whether the batteries are ready for prime time, even with Tesla's announcement of their new battery packs that are sold out apparently for the next year and a half. But solar by itself has become, in much of the country, a no-brainer because the cost of the panels basically collapsed. Mm -hmm. The panels are so much cheaper now than they were, and the efficiency percent that the panels generate from sun power to electricity is so much better than it was that solar works out really, really well. We have the benefit of having solar at our house, and our unit generates roughly around 2,400 kilowatts hours a month so so we're uh, you know for a typical homeowner not only is it generating all the power you need it's even generating excess which is where the idea of the battery packs come in that you store your own excess so the first part putting in solar i i am not a fair person to ask because i believe in it so intensely (laughs) right And right now you get a 30% federal tax credit for your cost of putting in the solar, which bends the payback time chart so much. I mean, it shaves a big amount of years off of how long it would take you to make back the cost. Right. Unfortunately, we usually break even every year, so the, the credit really wouldn't apply to us. Okay. Well, you could consider in that case um, doing a, a solar lease of a system. 
What's called right uh, now? I mean, I've I've budgeted at least thirty five thousand to purchase a system. That's a um, lot. You must have a really big house. I not not really, but I want to be able to cover the majority of my power bill monthly, and like I said, have that battery backup because where we live, we tend to lose power quite often. Um, and so then so getting the battery easy. backup is brilliant because the cost of the the battery packs to provide at least some level of power in your home is a tiny fraction of what it costs for you to have a standby generator at your house. Right. So okay. that that makes sense. Don't tell any solar company that you budgeted 35000 because they'll figure out how to give you a quote somewhere <laughs> around that price. Right, right. And you may find that you need to spend substantially less than you thought to get a large enough system because there's enough competition out there. And again, the cost of the panels is so much cheaper than it was even two, two three years ago. Right, right. Um, okay. And not just the cost quote matters. You want to see what people are saying and reviews of any company you're considering hiring. Right. Okay. Okay. But I I have a solar installation where it's uh, what's referred to as a solar farm that I had the space behind our house to put it on stilts, which is a cheaper form of install than putting it on the roof. Right. And are you in a position that you have the space that you would have a clear uh, shot of the southern sky? Unfortunately, I don't. It would have to go on the roof. Okay. All right. Well, even the roof installations, because of breakthroughs and continuous improvement, basically, in how the installations are done on roofs has made them quicker and cheaper. So, but okay. again, I'm the wrong person to ask. Because you could ask me any day of the week, hey, is it a good idea to put solar at your house? And I'm going to say yes. And one of the reasons I, I really like the solar installs, not just because I'm cheap, but the study has found that you will get substantially more for your house when you go to sell it because you have solar installed. Because the buyer knows that they're not going to have normal utility bills every month because solar is there. So you got to find somebody else who'll be more skeptical. Barbara's with us on the Clark Howard Show. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Clark. Thanks for taking my phone call. Certainly, Barbara. You are a generous soul. Well, I only have two grandchildren, and um, I have a little extra cash, and I want to help them on their merry way. And how old are your grandkids? I have a granddaughter, 10 years old, Riley, and I have a grandson, 7, Gavin. And are they both absolutely brilliant children? Uh, obviously, in my eyes and in their parents' eyes, yes. And are they going to be college-bound? Yes. I'm, I'm assured that that's probably uh, in their future, yes. The reason I ask that is that, because I knew they were brilliant, just automatically, <laughs> right? But the college-bound thing is that for a grandparent, doing something for a grandkid financially... It's very hard to beat putting money aside for them for college. Yes. Because of the 529 plans. If you're familiar with that, where yes, you... Yes, I am. I'm not... I looked at a little into it, and it's very confusing, um, specifically in the state of Connecticut. If I'm not mistaken, I think if you plan for um, a 529 in Connecticut, you kind of have to use it for a resident of Connecticut. Well, but you don't, don't do that. I have a guide at ClarkHoward.com that simplifies it and walks you through step-by-step step okay. how to pick a 529 plan. And okay. I'll tell you one wrinkle, the way colleges are acting towards grandparents that put money into a 529, if you trust your son or daughter, uh, your son-in-law, daughter-in-law, you trust the couple that they'll be responsible with the money, Right. you're best to gift the money to your son or daughter and then they own the 529 for the benefit of your 10-year-old and 7-year-old grandkids. Okay. And you're allowed to gift them up to 28000 a year. Okay. So I don't know what kind of money you were thinking of giving was, for the grandkids. I was thinking of starting a 5000 for each. Perfect. You can easily do that 
and gift that money, ten grand to your son or daughter, and then have the accounts open for each of the grandkids. And look at my guide, and you'll see the plans that are the good plans. And then I've got hyperlinks there where you can just go directly to the electronic application to open one of the good plans. It is important that you know that, Barbara, a lot of the providers of 529 plans sell really rotten, terrible plans. There are less of those than there used to be, but you want to make sure you're getting one of the good plans. And I recently have gone through and updated my plan guide, and I'm really confident in the choices I have there. You're listening to The Clark Howard Show. For over 75 years, GEICO's kept an eye on the future, keeping customers happy with things like 24-7 customer support and emergency roadside service. And to prove it, here's one of our commercials from over 75 years ago. At GEICO, we promise to always find innovative new ways to serve you. In fact, we're so innovative, in 75 years, they'll listen to this old radio commercial and think, wow, they were innovative. Wow, we are innovative. GEICO, saving people money for over 75 years. For years, I've been exposing highly sensitive corporate information. No one at work has any idea. I keep a low profile, drive the same car, bring lunch in a brown bag, no expensive watches or exotic vacations. I scan and email hundreds of documents, and no one suspects me. Not even me. Scanning and accidentally emailing to the wrong places can make your printer one of your company's greatest security risks. Learn how to gain control of document security at nuance.com slash gain control. I'm Lester Holt with NBC Nightly News. And I'm Chuck Todd with Meet the Press. We know you can't always watch on our schedule, so that's why we are always available on yours. With video on demand, you can watch NBC Nightly News. And Meet the Press. Any day of the week. Any time of the day. In-depth reporting on the day's top stories from NBC Nightly News. And political conversations, insight, and analysis from Meet the Press. Watch our latest broadcast anytime with video on demand. Power Service Diesel Clean plus Cetane Boost is a complete injector cleaner and performance improver made just for diesels that cleans injectors, boosts Cetane, and lubricates fuel injection components. To get the benefits of today's cleaner burning fuels, new technology is required. The Max HP formula of Diesel Clean restores lost power, smooths rough running engines, and improves fuel economy up to 8%. You can't get peak diesel performance from an additive made for both gas and diesel. Get Diesel Clean at auto and farm and ranch stores nationwide. Hi, I'm Seth with AA Lock, Dock, and Security. Have you ever thought about the locks or security on your house or business? Have you ever wondered why the keys to your new car cost so much? Well, at AA Lock, Dock, and Security, we can help with securing your valuables. We can even replace those expensive transponder keys. We can give you the knowledge that no one else will. Call AA Lock, Dock, and Security at 867-1965. That's 867-1965. Weekends are getting a little retool. Swear to God, not making a joke. Check this out. New shows? Check. We are Buzzwords. Some new talent? Check. Let's welcome the guys. Let's get it going. Arnie Spanier. Unbelievable. TJ Reeves. This is what you get. <laughs> Your weekends are on fire. Because that's how exotic it is. We are Buzzwords. Get it for less at the DIY Home Center Outlet. Get top quality real wood cabinets the same or less than the big box stores are selling the cheap stuff. And that's not all. Drywall screws big box stores are $6.47 a pound at DIY only $4.99. Plus DIY has the largest selection of mobile home parts and accessories anywhere. From carpet to doors, get the DIY supplies you need for less. The DIY Home Center Outlet. We are your building material closeout store. 2191 Northwest 10th Street, just two miles east of I-75. Are you tired of not using your home's outdoor space for entertaining or relaxation because of all the bugs and leaves? Consider adding a beautiful screen room or glass enclosure. We are Superior Aluminum and Design, a family-owned and operated business with 20 years experience in the aluminum industry. And we are accredited by the Better Business Bureau. If you appreciate superior workmanship, call Superior Aluminum and Design at 817-8058 or visit us on the web at superioraluminumdesign.com. 
Hospice of Marion County has an urgent need for volunteers to share a conversation with someone, run errands, hold someone's hand. All you need is a willingness to help others. Our volunteers believe the blessings they receive far exceed the services they offer. Will you consider serving, caring, and making a difference? Call today, 873-7441. Hospice of Marion County, making more moments of life possible. One of the most common questions those nearing retirement are asking, will I outlive my money? Retirement questions like these and many more will be answered every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. on planning for a better and safer retirement with hosts Francois and Julian Cozanet. Francois and Julian will help you put your retirement puzzle together. Catch planning for a better and safer retirement Saturdays at 9 a.m. on Ocala's News Talk, The Source 96.3 FM and 1370 a.m. Our number on the Clark Howard Show, 877-87-CLARK. And Teresa is with us on the Clark Howard Show. How are you doing? I'm doing good, Clark. How are you? Great, thank you. So you are going to bat for your daughter. Tell me the story with your daughter that you're trying to help her with. Well, my daughter went to one of those technical uh, career-related schools. They're for-profit schools. And she didn't complete the program, and now she's stuck with the student loan debt from it and no career to go with it. But in the meantime, they've announced that the school is now closing. And so now on our Facebook news feed, she's getting all these postings on there about these companies that want her to, to assist with loan forgiveness because the school is closing. Okay, and- so which school is it that she attended but did not graduate from that's now closing its doors? She went to Sanford Brown. Okay, Sanford Brown is one of a number of for-profit schools that have been accused of promoting the school with a false employment rate, you know, that placement rate that after you finish the program that the job picture would be so great for you as a graduate of the school. So she stuck with how much in federal loans and how much in private loans from having gone to Sanford Brown. The totals, I don't know exactly. I know it cost her about $15,000 for tuition. Okay. And you don't know what was, if her loans are all federal or if any of them are private? I think most of them are federal. Okay. So the deal is that there are scammers all over the place that are pretending to be student loan relief firms because the amount of student loan debt out there exceeds the amount of debt for car loans or credit cards. It's gigantic. And a lot of people are wheezing or failing at being able to pay that debt. And so it's led to all these scammers popping up saying, don't worry about it. We're going to be your heroes. We're going to help you wipe out the debt. And she should ignore all those companies. I call them companies is a bad term. They're all just a bunch of crooks. That's what I was afraid of. I told her before she contacts them or gives them any personal information to check them out, and I decided I'm going to call Clark Howard. Well, I'm glad you did, because here's what she should do, is if she feels that, did she drop out because she felt like she wasn't getting anywhere with it, or what was her reason? Well, she started off as a day student, and with her work at nights didn't work, so she switched to the night class or the evening classes. And then later on in the program, they kept putting her back in the day classes, and with her night job, she wasn't able to show up on time, so she kept failing classes. Okay, so it was just a bust for her. Yep. All right, so she should file with the U.S. Department of Education that she wants relief from her loans. And again, nobody knows if that relief's going to be granted. And going to any of the the companies that claim they're going to be the heroes, that doesn't help at all. I didn't think so. <laughs> so she files with them and waits for an answer from the U.S. Department of Education. And she's not the only one. She just goes to uh, ed.gov and goes to the section for borrowers. And she petitions for relief. Oh, okay.
nobody knows if that's going to work for Sanford Brown, but as you may have heard me say earlier today with the developments with Corinthian, those students likely will be able to get forgiveness. Is she making minimum payments on them, or is she in default? I think uh, she's... I don't know where she's at right now because she is going to another school right now. So she may be in uh, she may be in a deferment right now, being in school. That will buy her some time, and at the very least, she wants to go into the pay as you earn program, where while she's in school, she'll be considered to be current, even if she's making no payments. And I have information on my website, ClarkHoward.com, about pay as you earn. Good luck to her and to all the folks who went to the for-profit schools that turned out not to lead anywhere in terms of career. You're listening to The Clark Howard Show. This weather brought to you by Kenny's Place Nursery. Beautiful people selling beautiful plants and flowers at beautiful prices. Give them a call, 352-867-1213 for Kenny's Place. Hi, Danny Warfel here. Get moving with Florida Credit Union's fast and easy loan approval process. Let Florida Credit Union start up a new car loan for you today. No more waiting, hassles, or stop signs. You can even apply online. With a strong financial team behind you, you can enjoy great rates and fast approvals. It's all about personalized service and a streamlined process. Florida Credit Union, connecting your money to your life. Visit the WOCA website at www.woca.com. 90469. Broadcasting from the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 963 FM, The Source. News Radio. I'm Lee Silasara. David Eric Casebill, the McKinney, Texas police officer who's seen on video throwing a teenage girl to the ground, has resigned from the force. I want to say to our community that the actions of Casebill, as seen on the video of the disturbance at the community pool, are indefensible. Police Chief Greg Conley. Our policies, our training, our practice do not support his actions. Case bolt had been on leave. A manhunt in the small town of Willsboro, New York, for two suspects to escape from a maximum security prison. Well, he, he threatened to kill me, and he's killed others before, so I, I would not put it past him. He's a very, very dangerous man. Richard Matt's half brother, Wayne Shim, fears for his life. I really do believe so, because. He has nothing to lose at this point. Matt and 34-year-old David Sweat may have been seen in the town late last night. Fox News. We report, you decide. And now another golf confessional brought to you by Golfsmith. Recently, a man decided to spare his family the expense of Father's Day. No lunches, cards, or gifts. Then he heard about amazing savings on the latest products at Golfsmith and immediately changed his mind. Besides, he could always be thrifty on another holiday, like Valentine's Day. Hurry in for savings on prior generation Titleist Pro V1s and FootJoy DNA golf shoes this Father's Day, only at Golfsmith. Anything for golf. At Choice Hotels, we know business trips start with a choice. Stay or go. You can press send or press palms. Start a chat room or chat in an actual room. Just remember, opportunities won't come to you. You've got to get out there to get things done. Should I stay or should I go? Choicehotels.com makes it fast and easy to find a range of choice hotels like Comfort Inn and Suites. So stay with us for business and book now at choicehotels.com. You always have a choice. Pay your taxes, eat your vegetables, watch your weight, mow the lawn, clean the house. We all have stuff we don't want to do. Isn't it about time you did something you wanted to do? Like getting your pilot's license? At Ocala Aviation, they make it fun and easy, and you can start by taking one of their discovery flights. For only $99, you get to go up in the airplane with an FAA-certified flight instructor and actually fly the plane yourself. It's a perfect way to see if flying is for you. And once you get that ultimate feeling of freedom, Ocala Aviation, 
Aviation can train you to get your pilot's license. Ocala Aviation also offers commercial flight training for those looking to make a career change and enter the world of commercial aviation. Ocala Aviation is conveniently located at the Ocala International Airport. So if you're ready to start your adventure, stop by or give them a call today. 861-7484. That's 861-7484. You'll be glad you did. I know I am. Ocala Aviation. Call today. 861-7484. Career Source Citrus Levy Marion brings together business and community partners, economic development leaders, and educational providers to connect employers with qualified, skilled talent, and job seekers with employment and career development opportunities. Tune in the first and third Wednesday of each month at 9.30 a.m. to Career Source Citrus Levy Marion and learn how they can help you. That was the sound of a tree falling. It could be your tree. You're going to have it trimmed, but never got around to calling Pride Tree Service. It could have fallen in a field, and now all you have to do is call Pride Tree Service, and they'll have it quickly out of the way for a great price. But don't wait until the tree falls. It may not fall in the field. It may hit your car, your house, or worse. So call Pride Tree Service today and avoid all those headaches before they happen. Pride Tree Service, 840-0750. That's 840-0750. If you've been hearing about the crowded Eaton's Beach Sandbar and Grill and were worried because you couldn't get in, I've got some good news for you. Seating is now available. While you're there, look up Chef Dave Del Rio. He'll buy you a drink. Now is the time for you to finally see firsthand what your friends are talking about. At Eaton's Beach Sandbar and Grill, try Chef Dave's tantalizing Florisiana menu. Check out those gorgeous Lakeware sunsets. Eaton's Beach Sandbar and Grill on beautiful Lakeware. Seating now available. So you need a credit card, but how do you choose? Let's compare the big banks to Florida Credit Union. They have rewards, and we do too. They have customer service, hello, 24-7. They have celebrities, hey, Danny. But with Florida Credit Union, there's no annual fee, no liability for fraudulent charges, and no 22% interest rates. Choose Florida Credit Union, and you'll not only have a great credit card, but you'll have the support and personal touch that the big banks, well, can't touch. Florida Credit Union, connecting your money to your life. Federally insured by the NCUA. Black Cow Composted Cow Manure is a terrific organic soil amendment. We start with cow manure from dairy farms and then compost it a full 90 days. The result is an all-natural, dark, rich soil amendment that's great for everything you grow. Flowers, vegetables, shrubs, trees, and lawns, too. Look for Black Cow in the bright yellow and black bag at your favorite nursery or garden center. Black Cow, the mature manure, Black Cow. Putting the local back into radio. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. W-O-C-A. News. Variety. Information. Now. Keep your arms and legs on the inside at all times. The most trusted name in news, Fox News. Every half hour, only on 96.3 FM, 1370 AM, The Source. Saving America big money, one listener at a time. Get ready to save more, spend less, and avoid getting ripped off. This is Clark Howard. Welcome to the Clark Howard Show, where it's all about you learning ways to save more and spend less, and don't let anybody ever rip you off. Coming up in just a half hour, there's something that many of us are doing in our 401k plans, our retirement plans at work, that completely rip us off. We rip ourselves off. I'm going to tell you what that is and what you should and should not be doing, simple, in a 401k to protect your future. Speaking of protecting you, there's actually an organization in Washington that has done a great job for you as a consumer. I know that's hard to believe, particularly if you despise government, but the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau has done a fantastic job being the cop on the beat where there wasn't one before 
protecting you as a consumer. From time to time, you'll hear me on the show refer to them as a place you should file a complaint when you're being mistreated by a bank or credit card company, that they're there to be your advocate, but an honest one, because a lot of times you or I, we as a consumer, aren't right. But at least you have a place you can go to try to get help. Banks traditionally have done a horrible job, horrible job, at customer service and protecting your rights as a consumer. So now there's a place to go. And what I love, the banks are squealing like pigs right now because the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau is about to make its database public of your complaints where other consumers will be able to read your narrative of what's happened to you with a bank or a credit card company, which is so important because if you're really mistreated by a bank, odds are somebody else has been. Pattern. You want to see that. You want to know how they fought back, what they did. And banks cannot stand the idea of you as a consumer having any ability to stand up for yourself. Why else would they do this kangaroo court arbitration junk where they take away all your rights and set up a forum where the bank wins 99.7% of the time? I mean, that sounds like something that would happen in a totalitarian dictatorship in courts that are totally bogus. And that's exactly what bank-sponsored arbitration is. So the focus being shined on the banks is great for you and great for the country. And I'm so glad that the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau is there. Remember, if you have a problem with a credit card company or a bank, you need to file that complaint. It's not just them, debt collectors, payday lenders, that kind of stuff. You can file a complaint, as people have, closing in closer and closer to a million times since the complaint system was set up less than four years ago. CFPB.gov. Our number on the Clark Howard Show is 877-87-CLARK. David, so you have a new job working for a nonprofit, a hospital, a school, what kind of organization? Yeah, it's a, it's a nonprofit um, consulting company. And they are offering you, I knew it was that kind of organization because they're offering you a retirement plan that's not as good as what people get at a for profit business. Yeah, and I've, I've actually read, um, you know, some of your guides and stuff on your website about it, and there's, I think there's two things that I wanted to ask you about specifically. They, they offer two different options. One's a Roth option, and the other one is a pre-tax option. So, so one question is whether or not that Roth 403B is, is you know, is any more advantageous. And yeah, so, and how old are you, David? I'm 32. 100% you want to do the, the Roth 403B. Okay. No no question between the two, you want to do the Roth. And then I know that um, you said that there's a lot of companies or providers that they have a lot of hidden costs. And this, this who my company offers is not one of those. It's one of the ones that don't have massive hidden fees, if you will. And what um, are, do you know what the fee structure is? What percent of your money I, you goes know, to fees? I don't fees? have no idea what it is on the 403B. I just know it's one of the companies that you list when talking about 403Bs. You say it's one of the ones that don't rip you off with massive hidden fees. Oh, is it Tia Cref? It is. Oh, if, if it's Tia Cref and you have a 403B option for a Roth, put in as much money as you want. Okay, and Tia that would be better than doing my own Roth IRA. Yes, IRA. yeah, because uh, it's automatic. The Tia Kref Roth 403B will be clean and clear and honest and won't have massive fees. It is an excellent choice. And okay. whoever runs the nonprofit consulting organization you're with, congratulate them for picking the best provider in the business for a 403B plan because they are just 
head and shoulders above anybody else in providing retirement plans, 403B plans, for people who work for nonprofits, hospitals, or in education. Great news. Our number, 877-87-CLARK. Molly, we're going to talk about something that could cause some harm to you. What is that, Molly? Oh, my husband took my kids out and bought a car, co-signed for them, and now they want to give the car back. They haven't, you know, haven't even made a payment on it yet. It's only a week and a half old. Well, you can't just give a car back and let's let's take the co-signing out for a second and then we'll go back to the co-signing okay so let's just pretend for a second your husband did not co-sign the kids go and they buy a car new or used 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 car and the car do you know that when you buy a car that unless the dealer gives you a right to return within a certain period of time the second you sign your name to purchase the car it's your car Oh, no, I didn't know that. Okay. And, in fact, usually there will be a window sticker that will say car sold as is or car sold with warranty. It will be a, a, when a used car will be a white sticker with black lettering on it. And No, they hadn't even got this car in. They got it in the night before. That There was no stickers on it or anything. They hadn't even ran it through their body shop or, you know, their automotive. The kids had to take it back the next day to get the oil changed. Now, yeah. Did they buy this from a um, used car lot of a new car dealer, or did they buy it from yes. a place? They bought it from the used car lot of a new car dealer. Yes. All right. And they've had the car a week and a half. What's going on with that car today that now, they want to dump it? Now it's got it's leaking oil or a lot of oil out from underneath the car. Molly, how old is this car? Uh, let's see. It's, um, oh, what year was it? Oh, geez, I forgot already. Is but it, wasn't a, just in general terms, is it a, a It's couple? got 100,000 miles on it. Ooh, so this could be like yeah. an eight or nine-year-old car? Yes. How much did the, your husband and they agree to pay for this car? $4,000. Right, and... So they didn't have the cash, so did they pay any money down, or did they pay the whole thing? Yes, fa- they paid it. They had $1,000. And they financed 3000 Yes. And what interest rate are they being charged for the $3,000? 15%. On a cosign loan, they're being charged 15%? That's what they say. Wow. All right, well... <sighs> I don't have anything positive to tell you here because I need to just lay the whole picture out for you. When you buy a used car, you buy it, unless it comes with a warranty, which a car that old would not, you buy it with whatever problems it has. In fact, in most every state, the car salesman's allowed to lie through his or her teeth to you. And the lies that they tell you don't even matter. Because they have that protection that when you buy a used car, you buy it as is, and it's just tough. All right, so they have what may be a piece of junk. Okay. That's what you're telling me, right? Yes. And the girl that sold it to them no longer works there. In a week and a half, she's gone. Yeah, that's not a shock. Okay. You're talking about a a very uh, scary end of the car business when you start buying... Uh, very old used cars and they're in the finance business and not in the car business. The worst part is that car probably isn't worth anywhere near $4,000. Okay. And the way you would find that out is are you or your husband or your kids any good on the internet? Uh, My husband is. Okay, he can go on the internet and there's a website I'd like him to go to called Edmunds. Okay. E D M U N D S. And when I say dot com, do you know what that means? Yes. Okay. So he goes to Edmunds.com and he'll be able to see what that hundred thousand mile vehicle actually is really worth. Okay. Now if it's worth somewhere near the four thousand dollars, what I would suggest doing is going to a mechanic and seeing what the real cause of the oil leak is. Is there a major problem with the car or a minor one? 
Okay. If it's a major problem, then the best thing to do would be to go back to the dealer and you're going to think I'm crazy. You ready to think I'm crazy, Molly? Yes, yes. All right. <laughs> See if the dealer will take the vehicle back and kill the deal in return for forfeiting half of the thousand dollars okay and if they say no then you negotiate up from there because the most you could stand to lose is the thousand but right. let's say the car turns out to ha- need thousands of dollars in repairs right and it's really a, a, a junker you can't just say here's the car take it back you have to negotiate that okay now if it turns out the repairs are minor that the car needs your kids are going to have to pay for the repairs the dealership is not responsible okay and the kids have to pay for them and then they need to pay for the car because if your kids don't pay for the car now let's get to the other part that your husband co-signed yes do you know that he is on the hook for that full three thousand dollars yes and if the kids I, i did know that that's what i told him when he got home you know that he is more or less the buyer of the car. And oh, no, it's they, worse. It's worse than that, Molly. You know why it's worse? No, why? Because he doesn't get to drive the car. <laughs> he only has to pay for the car. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. So it, it's I'm not, not a, letting him out of the house anymore. I guess not. He's Tell him he's never allowed to sign his name to a contract again. <laughs> Okay, that sounds good. And I wish I could paint you a happier picture here, but there's not one. Okay, well, you've helped out a lot on the the information we did get, okay? All right, well, Molly, have a wonderful day, and I'm just hoping, 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 knock on, we've got some real wood here, knock on wood, I'm hoping that it turns out that the oil leak is not a sign of a terrible problem, and in fact is, hopefully, something relatively minor. Whenever you buy a used car, Please have that used car checked out by a mechanic as a condition of purchase. Because if you don't, whatever problems it has, those become your problems. You're listening to The Clark Howard Show. They say life is about choices. So let me introduce you to one of the best choices you can make in life, Granger Choice. The Granger Choice product line has just about everything we need to keep this place running, from batteries to V-belts, safety to sump pumps, and with Granger Choice, we can trust that every product is dependable and cost-effective. When it comes to making life choices, here's a great one, Granger Choice. Get it? Got it? Good. Call, click Granger.com slash choice, or stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. Sure, your handshake might be stronger than a bench vice, but when oil and grease get on your paws, your grip becomes slipperier than a politician on a cable news channel. Good thing Scott Shop Towels are now only $1.99 a roll at Napa. They're strong, absorbent, and ready when you need them. And at just $1.99 for Scott Shop Towels, it's one deal you'll want to grab hold of. Conquer the job with Napa know-how. At participating Napa Auto Parts stores. Offer expires 6 30 15. What's the matter, honey? Can't sleep? Ugh, it's this heartburn. At night, it's the worst. Heartburn? Again? Yeah, I'm done with it. I'm going to kick acid with Rolaids. Unlike Tums, new Rolaids Advanced goes to work instantly for combined powerful relief of your worst symptoms of heartburn, bloating, and gas. Feeling better? Much better. That was fast. Mm hmm. Kick acid and gas with new Rolaids Advanced. You've walked through 18 open houses. Your feet hurt and your head is buzzing. Living in a van is starting to sound strangely appealing. But then you hear it. The sound of hope. Of Zillow. You glance at your phone to see a three-bedroom craftsman in the right school district. It's perfect and it just showed up on your phone. Like magic. So sign up for mobile alerts and we'll send you homes that fit your criteria when they hit the market. And to think. You wanted to live in a van. Zillow. Find your way home.
Who doesn't love heading out on the boat with a family, hitting the ATV trails with friends, or blazing new stretches of highway with riding buddies? Your toys are your ticket to outdoor fun. At the McDonald Allstate Agency, we get to know you and help make sure you have all the right coverages. Plus, when you bundle your coverage for your car and your home with your boat, motorcycle, RV, or more, you can save up to 30%. So call the McDonald Allstate Agency today at 622-2333 or stop by one of our two Ocala locations at Cal Hills or the Jasmine Square Plaza. Subject to terms, condition, and availability. Savings vary. Hi, this is Brad. I want to take a moment to talk about a serious issue. In the next five years, the aviation industry is projected to have a shortage of commercial pilots. Now is the time to start training. Ocala Flying Club has started a scholarship for the youth of Marion County, ages 17 to 24. The club will donate up to $4,000 towards a pilot's license. This will help get the student on their way to obtain their commercial pilot license. If this sounds like something you would be interested in, or if you know someone that would be, please contact Ocala Aviation Services, 861-7484. R&D Tactical Solutions, Ocala's indoor gun range. 12 climate-controlled, state-of-the-art lanes. R&D Tactical Solutions, full retail store, everything from firearms to CCW classes. Located next to the Supervisor of Elections. Open 9 to 7 weekdays, 9 to 5 Saturdays, and 10 to 4 Sundays. Call 622-7468. R&D Tactical Solutions, Ocala's indoor gun range. Call 622-7468. Come join New Male Medical, the experts in men's sexual health, and celebrate the opening of their newest location in the Villages this Friday from 11 to 1 at 8640 County Road 466. That's at the Santa Fe Crossing on 466 going towards Rolling Acres. There will be free food and refreshments for all in attendance. Spend some time touring the facilities, and men, get a free testosterone screening. For more information, call 404-4779. That's 404-4779. Robin, let's try a little plant trivia. Name this nursery. It's a not-for-profit, and it teaches growing and caring for plants to their students. Oh, that's easy. Kenny's Place. Or how about this one? It's a nursery conveniently located between Ocala and Bellevue. Again, it's Kenny's Place. Or how about this one? A nursery with a wide variety of just what you need or want at the most reasonable prices. Kenny's Place, of course. Kenny's Place at 7677 Southeast 41st Court. Give them a call at 867-1213. It's a caring place for people and plants. It's Kenny's Place. Here's what you may have missed on the John Tesh Radio Show. Fidgeting can make it easier to lose weight. Many couples think that once they're married, all their issues with in-laws will disappear. But Steinort says a marriage magnifies these problems. So if you're having family clashes with potential in-laws, it's best to resolve those issues before you get married. Just like couples can take out a loan for a house or a new car, there's been a huge surge in loan companies catering to wannabe parents. Intelligence for your life on the John Tesh Radio Show. Don't miss this stuff. Our number on the Clark Howard Show is 877-87-CLARK. Tom is with us on the Clark Howard Show. Tom, how are you doing today? I'm good. I've got a business that I've been running for over 30 years, and it's been incorporated for 15 years or so. Now when you go online and punch in my business number, you, you come up with a competitor's name, or a competitor's business, and the only difference between my name and what's on their website is they've added an A before my name, and they've and they don't have that incorporated after it. Go after them. Well, I was gonna. My lawyer's out of town right now, but I talked to him before he went. And he said he could. He'd be happy to send a mean lawyer letter. Yeah, you send a, You send a, a cease and desist letter. Right. And the way it works is that depending on who you're dealing with at the other end receiving that letter, they either will say, ah, well, it was nice while it lasted, and they'll go ahead and change their listing so that they're not conflicting with you, or they may think, "Uh, well, Tom's not really going to do anything. He just paid somebody to send a letter, and he's going away. You can't. You spent all these years building up your trade name. And you can't take a chance that somebody else using your name is going to mess with you. And if this person does not cease from using your name, 
then that's when you get into some real expense. I had to do this once, Tom, when I was when I had my travel agency business. Mm-hmm. There was somebody who started trading on my name, like you're talking about, and they did not respond to the cease and desist letter. So we had to go get it with someone as a CDO. We had to go get a, a cease and desist order requiring them to stop using the name. And do you know if you do not defend your name, you'll lose your rights to protect it. Okay, so I'm sure my lawyer can figure this out, how to go to the judge and get the order or whatever, if, that's, if it comes to that. But that's but like, not the first stage. The first stage is the letter, and you give the person, and the tone of the letter does not have to be fighting words. Right. But the tone of the letter should be clear. They need to stop using your name. Well, like I said, they changed, they put A in front of my business name, so can they just say it's a, it's a different name, or is that is that still close enough? No, I mean that that's the whole thing. They're trying to be too cute. Think about if I come along, and I want to sell, I want to confuse people, and I start selling a soft drink that looks just like a Coca Cola, and I call it B Coca Cola or, or something, or put an extra C in front of it or whatever, and use a logo like theirs. How long do you think it would be before their lawyers are on me? Right, right. Problem is, Coca Cola's got a lot of lawyers. On right. Staff there. That's why I'm saying for you, it's it's not uh, as easy as it is for them. But you have to protect your name. You're listening to the Clark Howard Show. Geico is available 24-7. Unlike Billy, my boyfriend, who is apparently available 24-never. And with Geico's claim status update, after I report a claim, I receive update alerts through my Geico app. Did you hear that, Billy? Update. Alerts. I sure would like to be updated on why you can't return a text. Maybe I should just be dating Geico. Claim status updates. Just a few taps away on the Geico app. <sighs> What's the matter, honey? Can't sleep? Ugh, it's this heartburn. At night, it's the worst. Heartburn? Again? Yeah, I'm done with it. I'm going to kick acid with Rolaids. Unlike Tums, new Rolaids Advanced goes to work instantly for combined powerful relief of your worst symptoms of heartburn, bloating, and gas. Feeling better? Much better. That was fast. Mm-hmm. Kick acid... W-O-C-A. We are the source. W-O-C-A. Fox News Radio. I'm Lisa Lissera. David Eric Casebill, the McKinney, Texas police officer who's seen on video throwing a teenage girl to the ground, has resigned from the force. I want to say to our community that the actions of Casebill, as seen on the video of the disturbance at the community pool, are indefensible. Police Chief Craig Conley. Our policies, our training, our practice do not support his actions. Case bolt had been on leave. A manhunt in the small town of Willsboro, New York, for two suspects to escape from a maximum security prison. Well, he, he threatened to kill me, and he's killed others before, so I, I would not put it past him. He's a very, very dangerous man. Richard Matt's half-brother, Wayne Shim, fears for his life. I really do believe so, because... He has nothing to lose at this point. Matt and 34-year-old David Sweat may have been seen in the town late last night. Fox News. We report, you decide. And now another golf confessional brought to you by Golfsmith. Recently, a man decided to spare his family the expense of Father's Day. No lunches, cards, or gifts. Then he heard about amazing savings on the latest products at Golfsmith and immediately changed his mind. Besides, he could always be thrifty on another holiday, like Valentine's Day. Hurry in for savings on prior generation Titleist Pro V1s and FootJoy DNA golf shoes this Father's Day, only at Golfsmith. Anything for golf. At Choice Hotels, we know business trips start with a choice. Stay or go. You can press send or press palms. Start a chat room or chat in an actual room. Just remember, opportunities won't come to you. You've got to get out there to get things done. Should I stay or should I go? Choicehotels.com makes it fast and easy to find a range of choice hotels like Comfort Inn and Suites. 
So stay with us for business and book now at choicehotels.com. You always have a choice. Whether you're building it up or knocking it down, get it done, rent it now. Sunbelt Rentals is here to make your job a little easier. Our knowledgeable staff will help you find the right equipment for any job, big or small. Did you know that Sunbelt Rentals carries heaters, air conditioners, generators, lighting, traffic control, and so much more? So whether you're building it up or knocking it down, we've got the equipment you need. Get it done, rent it now. And right now, for a limited time, you can have it for less. Just by mentioning this ad, if you rent it Friday afternoon, you can keep it the whole weekend and only pay for one day. But this is a limited time offer, so stop into Sunbelt Rentals today, Northwest 27th, just a quarter mile east of I-75. For more information, just give us a call, 352-369-9101. 352-369-9101. Sunbelt Rentals. Get it done, rent it now. 352-369-9101. On the next AML Keller Live, Robin and I will be speaking to Randy Susan Meyer. She's written a book called Accidents of Marriage. News Bites, the hottest news in current events are bite size. And then David Glasgow is coming out to speak to us about the results of a new national survey that shows in-person reunions are still relevant. Jim DeBerry, the general manager of Wild Waters Water Park, will be in the studio with a gator handler and a baby alligator. And Mark Robinson, a comedian, they'll be speaking about Wild Waters. And then psychiatrist Dr. Susan L. Edelman will be on the air with us. She's written a book. It's called Be Your Own Brand of Sexy. It's a new sexual revolution for women. Ooh, yay. <laughs> Have all of your legal questions answered by attorney John Fuller on Legally Yours. And then Dwight K. will be on with us. Congress is thinking about getting rid of Section 1031 of the IRS Code. And then keep up with the latest travel tips with travel expert Anthony James. All of that plus fun with Joe on the next AM Alcala Live got a garden and we've got a show for you called you've got a garden with your host master gardener carol ann baldwin carol ann answers your questions about your flowers your veggies your grass your trees even questions about your bugs and she's only on woca so don't miss carol ann baldwin and you've got a garden each tuesday from 9 a.m to 10 a.m right here on woca the source Hey, I'm Gary. And I'm Eric. Did you know that Red Eye Radio is on WOCA, the source, every night from 2 to 6 a.m., and it's live. That's right. No tape shows here. We know that the news doesn't sleep. And neither do we. So we're here with you live from 2 till 6 a.m. every weekday. Call us, 866-90-RED-EYE. So join me, Gary McNamara, and me, Eric Harley, every weeknight to discuss the latest in news and entertainment right here on WOCA, the source. Hey, Matt, I know Sunrise Automotive does auto stuff, but I need some tires for my truck. Can you recommend someone? Uh, yes, I can. We do that. No, I mean, I need them installed and balanced and all that. Yep, yep, we do that. Well, my son needed his windows tinted. Yep, we, we do that, I need too. my seat replaced. Yep, yep, we do that, too. I need a new roof line, a new spoiler, and a new Yep, truck. we can even do that, too. Okay, okay, I get it. I suppose you can also do a radio show, too, huh? Well, as a matter of fact, join me every Monday at 10 for auto repair with personal care here on The Source. Of course you do. We are the source. WOCA. New talk, sports, and more. Welcome to the Clark Howard Show. I'm devoted to helping you save more and spend less and not letting anybody rip you off. Let's talk about you ripping yourself off. Do you know that the worst decision you could ever make in a 401k other than not participating is to put money in your employer's stock a lot of people learn the hard way with past failures I have a friend who I've known for 20 gosh getting close to 30 years who's now a retired radio guy and he was working for a radio company where they really encouraged the employees to put their retirement money into the company stock of the radio group. Well, you probably know where I'm going with this. So the radio group fails, and he lost all his retirement money and had to start all over in his mid-40s. And he's one of those people who'd been really good about saving money 
younger in his life for nothing all got wiped out you know the enron story right where the employees lost pretty much all their retirement money with the 401k overwhelmingly being enron stock and today four out of ten employers according to a um, benefits group study recently four out of ten employers still offer employer stock as an option in the 401k and a lot of employees feel like well i I should put money in there because otherwise they'll think i'm disloyal or a lot of times employees will put money in company stock because they're they don't really understand investing much they know where they work and they may trust where they work so they put the money in there but historically people have done very poorly putting retirement money in an employer stock doing the 401k you're already getting your check there it's too much risk to also get your retirement money from your 401k gambling on your employer so if you're doing that right now don't do it anymore and as for employers there's no excuse for you selling your employees down the river by having company stock as an option you yourself if you're an executive of a company know the value of diversifying your own wealth your employees may not have any other money invested other than what's in their 401k with you why would you do to them what you wouldn't do to yourself and for you as an employee don't put any money any zero nada nothing in your employer's stock inside your 401k it's all your eggs in one basket you shouldn't do it our number 87787 clark kevin's with us on the clark howard show kevin how are you doing i'm doing good clark thanks for having me so kevin what's going on with you today okay well i uh, recently Changed the letter in my mailbox. Um, it had my address on it, and I automatically opened it. Turns out it was addressed to someone else. It had someone else's name on it, and the letter. Uh, was and the now the postal service has charged you with a felony, and they're going to lock you up. <laughs> no, because I haven't told anyone else except you. Okay. Okay. No, it turns out the letter was from a debt collector, and oh. uh, my credit has been frozen. So I'm certain that there can't be identity theft. However, I'm concerned. Should I maybe call the collection agency and tell them, or can anything else happen to me? Well, if if they sent this to a stray address, and you've looked at your credit and there's nothing funny on your report, I don't think you have anything that you need to be particularly worried about yet because of one stray collection letter. It's poss- Is there any chance that this individual lives near you, Kevin? Excuse me, what was that? Is there any chance this individual lives near you and maybe they just have the address off a little? Um, I guess it's possible. Uh, This is a name you don't know. I'll tell you what you could do. Have you ever heard me mention Zaba Search? Uh, no, I haven't. Zaba Search is a site used for good and evil. <laughs> it's a site where you can find out stuff about people and where they're located and their unlisted phone numbers and all that completely for free on the web. Okay. You go to Zaba, Z A B A Search dot com and put in this person's name in your state. You'll see if they pop up as someone who might live right near you and it could be just an address problem and then you can especially rest easy that nobody's getting credit at your address using your address as a phony address however if that turns up a dead end kevin here's what i'd do what i would do instead is i would wait to see if other collection letters show up at your mailbox for this individual or if other like pre-approved credit card offers or junk mail start showing up for that individual that's when you'll know that you really have a problem with this person okay and maybe it'll be just an odd thing that just this one stray piece of mail came to the wrong address and that's all it is and there won't be anything untoward here and you might find out over time that there is something more going on and then depending on the specific circumstances 
we could uh, have another chat about what would be the best way to handle that. The real problem comes, Kevin, though. I'll tell you what we've heard from other callers. Listen to this. Do you know what the real problem is, Kevin? What's that? It's when the collection agencies start calling your phone number looking for this individual. Oh, okay. And that is a real hassle, and we're just going to have to hope that that isn't part of the mix. Tammy's with us on the Clark Howard Show. Tammy, how are you doing? Good. Tammy, you have a question for me about your auto insurance. I do. We are switching auto insurance companies, and I've been shopping around by price for insurance, and I there's one company that didn't receive the best rating from you <laughs> a few years ago, so I'm wondering, is it better to shop by price or by the rating of the insurance company you know i give it like if you were to think of it like how you weigh the factors Mm -hmm. i would say that i give twice the importance to the quality of the insurer compared to what i'd give to the price for the insurance and remember that said by the cheapest guy you probably know because i am cheap (laughs) well and our problem is, is I've unfortunately had a couple accidents the last couple of years, and uh, we had uh, some horrible, horrible experiences with the insurance companies that we did have with getting payoffs and other things, and they were supposedly great companies. So that's why I'm just, I just think, well, even the great companies that we had a horrible experience with. And So, well, let's talk about that, because the two great companies for auto insurance are Amica Mutual and USAA. Were either of them involved in your prior accidents where you got the crummy service? No. All right. Well, that's something I wanted to mention, because the companies that people know the most about are the ones that advertise the most. Advertising's effective. People assume that familiarity with a brand makes it good. But in auto insurance, pretty much the more familiar you are with the name, the more they stink as an insurer. Okay. And it is shocking. If you look at the Consumer Reports list of auto insurers, who does just absolutely a rotten, horrible job. And with auto insurance, what matters is when the chips are down. Like you said, when you have an accident, that you get good service. Now, any of those accidents you mentioned, were they at fault? Were they your, you know what I mean by at fault? Were you the one yeah. cited? Actually, the first one was considered an act of nature, and the second one, I was not at fault. Wow. So you, I, you don't have anything on your insurance record that's keeping you from shopping around? Not well, but they said it still counts. And one of them was a recent accident, and it hasn't closed yet, the, the case. They, they haven't finished settling, I guess. And so um, we did hear from a couple insurance companies that we were um, shopping with that until that is cleared up. They don't um, want you. No. <laughs> well, the people you have a quote from that are extra cheap, apparently, or cheaper than what you found elsewhere, yeah. they have not historically written enough auto insurance to even be rated by Consumer Reports. Okay. So I don't have, because they, they're a big insurance company, but auto insurance is kind of a newer area for them. So I don't have anything to base it on in terms of how good or bad they're going to be, and not, and I've not received enough calls from people about them to have a feel for whether or not they're going to be a good or bad insurer. Well, and I checked with our state um, to see, because our state has a, um, a website where you can go and see the complaints that have been issued by insurance company and the percentage compared to other insurance companies, and they were... I don't know. They were about average with so a lot of the middle other of the road, not outstanding. Yeah, but I mean, I know that we probably would. Well, I'm not military, so you can't <laughs> do USAA. But why no. don't you call Amica Mutual and see if they're interested in you, in spite of the act of nature and the accident that was not your fault. Well, yeah, but my husband has a speeding ticket. Ah. Oh. So See, and, and as I say about Amica, they're only interested in dull people with dull lives, meaning yep. you drive dull cars and you don't drive too fast and all that. So Exactly. And his was, it was, they considered it a minor speeding infraction is what was on the ticket. And, um, but yeah, it's been enough that it's kind of raised our rates just a little. My accidents haven't as much, but. So the big thing that. for you, you've got to go with whoever you can get the best deal now and get your husband to slow down for the next three years 
Exactly. Get that off your record, and then maybe you can get with one of the top flight insurance companies. And and really, head and shoulders, truly above the rest, Amica Mutual, A-M-I-C-A Mutual, and for military personnel and their dependents, USAA. I've been a USAA insured since the 70s. They're a great company. Now, meeting the dull people, dull lives criteria, Krista of our crew is with Amica Mutual. Are you? Would you describe yourself as dull? No way. I wouldn't at all. Our number is 877-87-CLARK. Is it Caressa? Is that how I say your name? Caressa? It's Carissa. Carissa, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Great, thank you. I'm sorry I fouled up your name. No, that's fine. Everybody does it. <laughs> okay. What's the most unusual way someone's pronounced your name over the years? Oh, the most unusual. I don't know. I get Clarissa a lot, I think, from the old uh, Clarissa Explains It All TV show. But I don't know what that is. <laughs> It was a Nick- <laughs> it was a Nickelodeon show from like ten years ago. Oh, okay. Uh, when I was growing up. Okay. Well, how can I be of service to you? Um, so I have a question. I'm expecting to get uh, a okay. couple thousand dollars. I'm sorry. How much? And, uh, it should be about two two or three thousand. Okay. And, and you wanted I'm, my address to send it to me? <laughs> Sadly for you, no. Okay. Um, I'm trying to figure out what I should do with it. I'm in law school and am going to have student loans, and I'm trying to decide if I would be better off saving it to put towards the cost of law school for next year to reduce my student loans, or if I should put it in my Roth IRA that's been neglected since I started law school. Well, you can only put money in the Roth if while you're in law school, you're also working because you have to have earned income to contribute to the Roth. Okay. I was working over, um, over the summer and then I have a part-time job during school. All right. So you would be eligible for a Roth. So the question is, would that make sense? It depends on this. For law school, are you borrowing only under the federal student loan program? I guess it would be uh, graduate plus loans, or are you also doing private student loans? Um, it's just the graduate plus. All right. If you're able to get by with just graduate plus, the rules under the federal program are favorable enough that you would want to take that excess cash and pop it into the Roth. Okay. And let okay, it grow great. there. And by the way, with fellow law students, those that are doing some private borrowing, if anybody ever asks you, make sure that they exhaust their borrowing under the Grad Plus loans before they even consider the first dollar of private student loan borrowing. I saw a report recently that a huge number of people have borrowed under private student loans who still had not exhausted their federal borrowing power under either undergraduate loans or graduate loans. And that's a terrible mistake. Well, good luck to you as a lawyer. What do you think you want to uh, end up practicing? What kind of law? Uh, Probably intellectual property law. I got an engineering degree before law school, so. (laughs) Oh, well, it's funny because I just did a segment on, uh, on KFI in Los Angeles with the morning show host, Bill Handel, about this thing that's running around the country with people who are businesses that have trademarks Mm -hmm. that get these phony solicitations that look like they're from the government saying that they need to pay this trademark registration fee and people end up spending hundreds of dollars for something that they shouldn't spend at all right and your area of law that you're going to go into is a very very specialized technical area of law so you must be a very detail-oriented person (laughs) I think so, yeah. Well, good luck to you. Okay, thank you so much. Thanks. Bye-bye. You're listening to The Clark Howard Show. I'm all about keeping it simple. Been getting the same haircut from the same guy for 20 years. You can't beat simple. That's why the first place I turn to when I need something is Granger. I don't want one place for my safety products and another for my abrasives. Granger has over 1.2 million products and the solutions I need to help keep this place running. Granger, simple, simple. Granger, get it? Got it? Good. Call clickgranger.com or stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done.
When the leading antihistamine and Nasacort go nose to nose, Nasacort wins, stopping more of the chemical responses that can cause your nasal allergy symptoms. And when you stop more causes, you get 24 hour relief from sneezing, an itchy runny nose, even congestion. It's prescription strength medicine available over the counter. Nasacort Allergy 24 hour stops more of what makes you miserable. Use as directed. Mobile One Synthetic Oil delivers peak performance in any engine. And now it's just $5.99 a quart at Napa. So whether you're pushing a four-banger, rolling a straight six, or running a V-something that rattles grandpa's dentures and frightens small children, treat it right with Mobile One from Napa. Only $5.99 a quart. Conquer the job with Napa know-how. General States pricing. Sales prices do not include applicable state local taxes or recycling fees. At participating Napa Auto Parts stores, offer expires 6-30-15. Like the taste of fresh apples? Try an Angry Orchard hard cider. At Angry Orchard, we believe in tradition. That's why we use apples from a 100-year-old orchard. It takes two apples to make each bottle of Angry Orchard. So raise a glass to a time when apples were best served in a pint glass. Angry Orchard, when you're looking for something a little different. Crisp, refreshing, and not too sweet, just like me. Angry Orchard Hard Cider. Branch out. Angry Orchard Cider Company, Cincinnati, Ohio. Drink responsibly. Are you tired of not using your home's outdoor space for entertaining or relaxation because of all the bugs and leaves? Consider adding a beautiful screen room or glass enclosure. We are Superior Aluminum and Design, a family-owned and operated business with 20 years experience in the aluminum industry. And we are accredited by the Better Business Bureau. If you appreciate superior workmanship, call Superior Aluminum and Design at 817-8058 or visit us on the web at superioraluminumdesign.com. Hi, this is JP from Penn Flooring here in Ocala. I would like to invite you to come in and visit our spacious showroom where we have solutions for every style and budget. From wall-to-wall -wall carpet to hardwood floors and tiles, we have an unsurpassed selection of flooring. At Penn Flooring, we've provided quality customer service with a family touch for over 25 years. Visit our website at penflooring.com or come by our showroom, 1201 Southwest 17th Street, just over the bridge. Penn Flooring, quality customer service with a family touch. Good credits, bad credits, it's none of our business because we're not an auto dealer. We're not a bank. We're not your mother. We're OcalaForSale.com, Marion County's marketplace for cars, trucks, and SUVs. We've got thousands of sellers standing by to take your call. No middleman. But hurry, don't walk, don't run. Just sit down and log on to OcalaForSale.com. License and inventory change daily. Offer does not include dealer upcharge. Undercutting rust proofing factory surcharge or delivery fee. See website for details. Do you have areas that have started sagging or drooping? Is what you're looking at not quite the same as it was years ago? Are there enhancements you've been putting off? Is there serious damage you need fixed? Then call on us, Damage Control Services. When your roof is sagging and the drywall is drooping after a storm, or your home just needs some enhancements from damage repairs to new construction, Damage Control Services is here to help. 